Hey guys, we're sort of getting started early tonight. Uh, I planned on doing it starting at 5, but uh, time got away from us, so probably around 5.30 we're going to get started here in just about 10 minutes and see how that does. If you're not registered, you can always call that, text that number there, just text me your name. And if you're on YouTube, what, what we're simulcasting, Facebook and YouTube. So if you're on YouTube and you use a different name, I always be sure to say this is so-and-so on YouTube. Or Facebook, just uh, text us your fiscal address. And if you've been registered before, you're still registered. Now if you change your name on YouTube, you'll need to let us know who you are. Uh, but we're going to get started here in a little bit. We got, we're got we still trying to get set up for the auction. going to be a good auction tonight. Hey Bubba, Cynthia, George, Kathy Scott, Darlene Manning. All you guys. Everybody's stuff should be out. I got just a couple stragglers. Uh, Robert Warden and Beth Smith being those. So, if y'all have any problems with any items that come, let me know and we will take care of it. Uh, you buy something, we said it's supposed to work. We do have pocket knives tonight. And it don't, we take care of you. Oh. What do I do with them most pocket knives? I put them down in something. I haven't brought everything up yet. I'll be right back here. I need me a little. Hey, Christine. Hey, Greg Willis. We're going to have a pretty good sale. We got Benny Baby's Pocket Knives, some old Far King, Pyrex stuff, um, cheaper stuff, higher price stuff, pocket knives, uh, some re some kitchen knives, things like that. It's going to be a pretty good sale tonight, this evening. We're still actually getting it set up, so, but I wanted to come on here to let you know that we wanted to start a little early tonight, so. Uh, maybe we won't be out so late. Thought we'd try that. Maybe pick up a few new customers. Hey, Kathy Scott. Everybody that said hello. And I'm trying to eat me a little supper now. I got me some oh. beanie weenie bite. I mean, not a beanie weenie. Buy any sausage. I know that's not good for you, but. I also got me some pork skins that I think I can eat. You know, those are good for you. Got some beautiful glass water. Look how pretty that is. Is that called Amberina? Amberina, I think, baby. I just want to know what I did with my pocket knife. I bought several of them and I stuck them down in something. And I can't remember what I stuck them down in. Oh, there they are down in there. That one's a little bit different color. We can do choice on it. Glad everybody's tuning in early with me tonight. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get these pork skins. Just a soft enough. 
Oh. I think I can. Hey, Ralph Smith. We do have some pocket knives tonight. <clears throat> Should have two more down in there. Got some nice looking paperweights. There's another nice pocket knife. Did you find those two? Yeah. I remember I'd stuck them down in something. There should be one more. So we do have a pretty good selection night, plus the regular cheaper stuff. I'm just trying to get it. You get all Matchbox. Uh huh. Pretty good looking ones. Uh huh. I drive them. Oh, well, that's yours, right? I drive them. Yeah, thank you. I bet you would. <clears throat> Didn't buy any sausage cut up, don't taste the same. Good evening, everybody. We'll get started here shortly. Let me get finished setting up. Eat my veiny sausage and... That way I won't be getting hungry on y'all. I got me some cheddar cheese, too. Cheddar cheese is pretty good. Pretty dang good. All right, and I can reach down to them, and okay. I'll let you take when you get done eating some. All right. Take tags off them or some board bears and beanie babies. 
All right, guys, we about got everything ready. Hope you guys are ready for a big sale tonight. <clears throat> Did uh, people get notifications that we were live? Good. Now, also, if people don't enable it, he didn't. We got some nice looking pocket knives tonight. George said he got it. And I'm, I'm talking with my mouth full, but I can't help it. I'm hungry. That boy is hungry, guys. Off from this morning. If you guys don't mind sharing a little bit, I appreciate it. Hey, it's time to pour off quick, Mom. I need something to drink. You have nothing to drink? There's waters in the cooler. Your coffee? Coffee doesn't got cold. Oh. <clears throat> Hey, Lewis. Hey, Delta. Here, I believe it's from Waters there from last night, bud. No, that'll work. Unless you want a cold one in the fridge. Well, I don't want this cheese getting run. I'm going to get me another slot. You want any of it? Yep. Let me put that in the fridge. Now, there's cheese back there already. Don't eat it. It's dog food because it was sitting out in the truck. We'll take this home tonight. I mean, it'll stay good in the fridge. Everybody in your sauces ain't got no taste to it. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing all right. So we did decide to have another auction tonight. Just going to start it early. <clears throat> and I know I'm done running four minutes late. But I'm trying to get something done in my belly. We got a surprisingly good little auction for tonight, guys. Sure do. Got something for the guys and the gals. Go want a piece of my cheese. And that's all I can take them by any sausage. I'm sorry, but how much are those now? Well, they used to be. We're just talking about the cost of how much stuff has been raised. Well, the, the other many sausages were a dollar. They used to be fifty cents. Mm. That was just last year almost. Mm -hmm. When any something, but them was a dollar and a quarter. But they ain't got the same kind of taste. The other many sausages. <clears throat> Then it's cut up and within all that water, that water soaked up all the flavor. <clears throat> well, if the price wasn't adjusted, then more than likely the quality was. Well, that's great news. You know, I was praying just today when I was doing my 30-minute walk. I mentioned her in her prayers. 
I was praying for her. So that's another prayer answered. Thank you, God. Y'all ready to get this show under the road? I don't know how many I got watching. Mama, you did this phone. Mm-hmm. That cheddar cheese is good. Me drinking my water. We'll get this baby on the road here, guys. People are saying uh, great news over on Facebook, too, uh, Sammy. Bubba and Tiffany Lambert did. Now I can snack a little bit during the auction. <laughs> But we'll get this auction started. Appreciate everybody tuning in this evening. I first said 5 o'clock, then I said 5.30. Now here it is, 5.36. And I ain't sold a blame item yet. What is wrong with you? Oh, George said we already got, we got 34 watching. <clears throat> oh, Ray said he did get a notification. Good deal. Oh, Christine, that, that, it is, that sharp cheddar cheese, it's got that. And what was that other one that I got to where I like? Provolone, not Provolone, Monster. Monster. Monster cheese. Christine, I got to where I like that real good. All right. But guys, we do have a lot of good items tonight. Some beautiful uh, colored oh. glassware. And some paperweights that signed. Uh, just some really nice, nice items to uh, auction off. Somebody asked about Far King last night. It was uh, uh, Brenda H. Or that was that her first name, Brenda H. F. She didn't ask Bonnie F. Bonnie F. Bonnie she F. I hope you're watching tonight because we ask. did. She asked, "Did we have any Far King?" She didn't ask about it. She wanted the bowls, but she said they thought they were Far. She thought they were Far King. We do have some Far King, we which sure is do. Pyrex. Beautiful color on them tonight, guys. So we got several people watching on Facebook, guys. If you're watching, stay tuned. <clears throat> Uh, might be some penny items tonight. Don't know. Got nice, Ralph. We got, a, I think, a kissing crane. Yeah, we got some nice, and then we got some regular uh, uh, other type nice, kitchen nice, and things like that. So, got a pretty good selection. Some of it I've not even took out of the box yet. So, let's go ahead and get started. I have just got one of these moisturizing hand cream. Uh, creamy coconut, sweet almond, and fresh rose. I've only got one of these, and that's what we're going to get started with tonight. On um, the moisturizing hand cream. I only got one of them, guys. So y'all bid it out. It's, uh, like I said, creamy coconut, sweet almond, and fresh rose. Scented hand creams, wrap hands in silky moisture. Keep our hands good and moisturized, guys. That's what we'll get started with. Get the auction started. I got a $5 starting bid. That's the way to get it started, Melissa Williams. Way to go, girl. I'm going to come out of my jacket. I done got a $5 starting bid. Looking for a $6 bid now, guys. That's over on uh, YouTube. And I'll tell you guys... Uh, Kathy Scott, I done got a $5 bid over on YouTube, honey. I need to get you unblocked over on YouTube so you can be on YouTube. And I'll have to go in and do that later on. I can't do it right now, but I will do it, honey. Sometimes we get accidentally blocked. Darling, man's in at six. Only one I got, guys. Only one I got. I've got $6. <clears throat> you write down the starting on a post it note. Do you need a post it note? I don't need none of this over here now. Yes, Write please. down our starting thing and number and all that stuff for me. I got six, now seven. Six dollar bid, you go seven. I got six, now seven. Six dollar bid. Let's Marvin get it and get it on. Sammy on YouTube said thanks for all the well wishes and prayers from everyone. YouTube and Facebook friends, thank you. Melissa Williams is out. Don't, don't be scared, Melissa Williams. Come on, jump on into the water. Step into the water. <clears throat> Wait out a little bit deeper. Put your trust in. I can't believe I forgot the words of that song. But today I had a good walk, guys. 
Dolly Man's leading right now at six dollars. I need a seven dollar bid. Uh, we had a good walk today, about a thirty-five minute walk, and we got to talk to God that whole time. And I was trying to think of all you guys on here, Melissa. Uh, mentioning your name, Sammy's daughter mentioning her name, uh, Miss Diva mentioning uh, Sandra's name, uh, uh, Sandra Boardman's husband Joe mentioning his name, uh, mentioning everybody's name that I knew of that had been sick or been in the hospital, Darling Manning, Annette Oliver, trying to mention everybody's name in prayer and praying for our cities, praying for our United States. I was just sitting there racking my brain, seeing who I could pray for. First item sold tonight, Darling Manning, $6 bills. $6 sold. First item, done going and out of here tonight. Guys, I've got choice on these nice, looks like an old cook stove, guys. Made out of wood. Isn't that just gorgeous, a little miniature thing? And then I've got an old coffee grinder thing here that's made out of wood and metal. Choice on them. Look here at this. That comes off. Makes a little cork and have a little hiding place down in there. Oh, my God. oh that's a salt shaker. Oh, yeah. That's a salt and pepper yeah. shaker. This one's got the cork going out of it, but you can find a cork for it. That's a salt and pepper shaker. Oh, my goodness. Where's Frankie? Uh, what's her last name? Great. That actually, that's a, that's a pepper grinder. Huh? That's a pepper grinder right there. See, it's got the hole in the bottom. You put the little pepper, pepperones or whatever on there. Choice on them, guys. Nice little wooden items there. Beautiful little items. Choice on them, guys. Hang them on the wall. They're Somebody sent me in the $10 on them babies. Salt and pepper shakers. Let me put that P back around there. Has that got an S on it? Sure it does. I didn't even know what that was. My goodness. Or the, the, the pepper grinder. I've got a $5 starting bid. Choice on them. I got five now, seven and a half, five, seven and a half, five dollar bid over on YouTube from Beth and Ralph Smith. And while y'all are bidding it out there, just duking it out, we'll be finding our next item that's going up for bids. The and it's shaker. going to be a drunk drawer. Oh my goodness. Drunk drawer. Y'all like the junk drawer stuff. I got choice on them, guys. Y'all wrong on these. I got five dollars now. Six. Bid it how you want to, guys. They're better than that, though. Better than that. We're gonna try to move along as fast as we can. Early bird sale, guys. I don't think I've been on this early in a long, long time. There'll be people coming at seven saying, "Oh Lord, what I miss." And Lord, time seven o'clock gets here, we've done sold. We'll have sold several items. I got seven uh, through a text from one of our customers. Seven through a text? Phone bid, bid. Why, aren't they, why aren't they bidding online? Can't bid. Who is it? Frankie. Phil Lambert. I got you. I got Yeah, y'all are registered. Who is it? Phil Lambert. Phil Lambert. Phil Lambert. Uh, if you're watching, I'm, I'm simulcasting on Facebook. You and anybody bidding that we can't see or? Uh, no, I, I, he said he can't bid. Try Facebook. If he's on YouTube, tell him to try Facebook. Or if he's on Facebook, tell him to try YouTube. But we'll take his bid. Tell him at seven. I got a seven dollar bid from Phil Lambert. He's having trouble commenting. Tell him to. To Phil, if you can hear me, I'm, I'm simulcasting on Facebook and YouTube both. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. If you're watching on Allen County News Classified, uh, go to my main page. Uh, it, it, it goes out live on Allen County News Classified also. Thank you, Ralph. Hey, Hidden, how's it going there, buddy, brother in Christ? Oh, Christine Lambert says Christine. she's on Facebook for Phil. Okay. So he texted us and said he bid seven dollars, Christine. No, that is that is who I'm getting messages from. So we're good. She is on Facebook bidding for Phil. 
Yeah, I didn't see your seven. Oh, okay, good deal. Good deal. I just didn't see a seven dollar bid. Just type in seven dollars. I'm seven dollars over on Facebook. We got you. Choice on them. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, love you too, buddy. And that's Marvin Gaye and get it on. There it is. There's that seven dollar bid. But I appreciate you guys so much tuning in on Facebook. If you've been registered before, you're you're still registered. What's that? Yeah, yeah, this is the auction. So all you got to do to get registered is text that number. And if you got a landline where you can't text, you can be sure to call it and we'll get you registered. We ain't playing no reindeer games. That's right, $7. And choice on them on the, the, the pepper grinder or the salt and pepper shaker. And we have sold them this for $7. Uh, Phil Christine Lambert uh -huh. there. Which one do you want? The salt and pepper or the uh, pepper grinder? Well, I don't know. If we, I don't think we've ever taken you off the blue list. Hey, Randy Sloan. Who is that? Ma? I'll tell you if they're... Nick Bandy? No, he should be on there. He's just using a different YouTube name or something. Tell him to try to text say a comment on there. Yeah, see if you can comment on Yeah, we've never taken him off. Tell them to try to comment on YouTube or tell them we're on Facebook too. Okay, we'll she wants a, out, she wants a salt and pepper shaker. Oh, hey Randy Sloan, how's it going, buddy? I don't know which Randy Sloan I'm talking to. And the backup bidder, anybody, seven dollars on the pepper grinder. That works. You put the the round pepper, what do you ever call them, pepper pepperonis, or and grind it. You're not on the video right here. Oh, that's called back. I should have had a little burn there. I don't know. I can't see it. Tell me that? I don't know. It looks like a bite. It's a burn. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. night. What's the kennel's phone number? Uh, 622 7301. That's the house number. Yeah. What's the cell phone number? Uh, Indy have to give it to you. Huh? 1418, ain't it? I don't know I think for it's sure. 14, no, I don't know. I think it's Anybody want backup bidder, Ralph? Do you want the pepper grinder? Pretty neat little item right there. Seven dollars. Somebody will take that for seven. And then I've got a junk drawer. It's got war medals in it, lighters, belt buckles. It's got all kind of stuff in it. All kind of little small stuff in it. Anybody want that now? Ralph said pass. Uh, we'll send you an invoice tomorrow. Tomorrow, the next day, Christine. You don't got to worry about it, honey. We'll just, we'll send you an invoice tomorrow, the next day. Ray Jenkins is going to take that for seven dollars. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll send you an invoice. And who got that, hon? Uh, Ray Jenkins got the pepper grinder, right. and uh, Christine Lambert got the uh, salt and pepper shaker. Now this is a junk drawer box. Mm. In a cigar box. Yeah. Got belt buckles in it. War medals in it. Some kind of test tube with little bitty paper clips. Some kind of napkin holder there. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll we'll get it right, honey. We got your phone number and everything. There's a little tube of something or another. Uh, there's some kind of type of lighter. Uh, mm. another little war metal thing. Lots of little war metal things in there. 1518 is his number. It's 1518. There's another little war metal thing. It's just filled with stuff. There's a nice, uh, uh, ice cube thing. There's a pocket knife in there. It's in rough shape, but there's even a pocket knife in there. Some kind of cast iron. I got a ten dollar bid. And there's a watch in there. I think that's ten carat road gold plate. Ten carat road gold plate.
What is it, Mama? Some sort of like neosporin kind of something. I don't think it is. There's a boy. That's pretty. This thing's full of stuff. I just got marbles down in there. It's got an old railroad stake down in there, guys. Lots of little uh, army uh, things and stuff. I'll go ahead and start filling it back up. And the little cigar box. I got a $10 bid, guys. You can rest of that stuff just be a mystery to you. I like that. Let me see that. Oh, that's pretty. Little mystery. Oh, let me put it back down in that plastic. They had it in that plastic for a reason. I'm at $25, $25. I'm letting y'all bid on it. It's full of little army stuff. That's a good little... Uh, I didn't want to sell all that separately, so I just started throwing stuff down in that box, guys. Bell buckles is worth that. It's a, it's a good box. And the rest of what's down in the bottom is a mystery. Uh, not to me, but to you guys. And it's more of the war metal stuff. So we're at 25 over here on... I need 27 and a half. Little, I got a thirty dollar bid now, thirty two and a half. We're at thirty dollars. Lock that door. Jim's hung up on me. Thirty five. Y'all bid away, and I'll be grabbing the next item up for bids. I got all kind of stuff, guys, tonight. <clears throat> hey. I'll give you that southern accent. So to Sammy Stinson for $35. Diva, honey, thank you for bidding there. So I got another big box of uh, what I call junk drawer stuff, too. Let's start putting up some of these nice matchbox vehicles. Let's do choice on them. Let me get it to where you can see them when I put them up there. But we're going to do choice on matchbox tonight. Got some really, really, really nice ones. I just lost it. Yeah, y'all be careful. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, honey. What did we miss? We uh, got a little box. $35, Sammy Stinson. Miss Diva went out and I thanked her for bidding. And I'm about to raise the camera up just a little bit. Or lower it a little bit. There we go. Choice on them, guys. Somebody sent me in about $5 and let's go. $5, baby, you go. $5, five, 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 $5, baby, you go. $5. Yeah, I think there's only one that's got a duplicate in there. I think they're, all the ones are different. $5, baby, you go. Five. I'm spinning them around, guys. Matchbox. $5, baby, you go. Five, 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 five. What's that? A Volkswagen? Yeah. Little Jetta. You got two of those, I believe. Little Jetta. All kind of nice. I like this one right. Uh, let me spin it around. I like that one right there. Oh, right. the matchbox guys. Somebody go five and let's go. I got two and a half with Eric Law. Two and a half. Choice on the one. How many have I got? One, two. Will that sticker come off of there? We don't want the sticker messing up the. There it is. That's a little Volkswagen there. I'm only at two and a half now. Three guys. Don't know if I can let them go for that. They're too nice. Different, good matchbox. I got two and a half. Would you go three? Two and a half dollar bid. Would you go three? Two and a half. Would you go three? These are super, super nice guys. Matchbox. Two and a half. Would you go three? That's a global there. 
I got two and a half. Would you go three? What about it on Facebook, guys? Got to go. Can't stay here all night long. Lord, I thought they'd bring five dollars a piece. I'm only at two dollars and a half. But it is what it is. Volkswagen convertible, Jeep Renegade, Chow mm -hmm. Mobile, 2021 Land Rover, 2007 Honda Ridgeline, 1994 Mitsubishi, Ford Bronco, 2021. Uh, there they are, guys. I guess we're going to pass them at $2 and a half. It's mm -hmm. early bird special. Yeah, I don't blame Eric Law if he takes them all at that price. But I'll pass them at two dollars and a half. Where's Wanda and Tim Tim right at? He likes collecting these. Somebody tag uh, Wanda and Tim Tim in there. I'm at two dollars and a half. And I sold them to Eric Law. Eric, take your time. This is where I tell you to take your time. Pick out the ones you want, brother. Or just tell me to count them up and I'll count them all up and <clears throat> sell them all to you. It's early tonight. They might bring higher later on in the auction. So take what you want right now. Better get what you want right now because I put them back up after 7 o'clock. They may go higher. I'll let Eric Law take his time there, and while he's taking his time, he's going to take the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten of them. Oh, they're, they're nice hidden. They sure are. I'm just going to put these over here in a spot bomb. All ten of them. Just somewhere by itself if you don't care, honey. I did. Beautiful. I did. I set them up by themselves right there. Two and a half. Took all ten of them. All right, guys. Let's do a little of this glassware. These are Amberina. Uh, I don't know if they're made by Fenton or who they're made by. One of them's more of a solid color, as you can see. You look at that, how beautiful that is. And then one of them's more of a translucent on the bottom and a little more yellow on the bottom. You can see the difference in them there. The patterns are different. One of them's got sort of a, more of a, the uh, whatever you call them. And then one of them's more of a star cut pattern. Going to do choice on them. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at there. Have you seen Nick Bandy on there, huh? No, I've not seen Nick Bandy. Maybe someone accidentally blocked him. Somebody is. Everybody's a moderator, Nick. Somebody may have accidentally blocked you. Look how beautiful them are. And I'm only at $5. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. We'll get it figured out. Choice on them. Okay. And they are... Five inches, five inches, exactly the about two inches tall, and I'm only at five dollars, guys. Better than that, oh my goodness, they are absolutely. Look at the color on both of them. Absolutely beautiful color, and I got a five dollar bid over on Facebook. Looking for some more bids, guys. Y'all go ahead and be bidding, and I'll be looking for the next item. George Clayton's in at five dollars. Way to go, George. George knows the bargain when he sees them. Yes, he does. Nobody else is bidding? Y'all missing out on these two pieces, I'm telling you. Missing out on them. And nobody else is bidding. We only got one bidder, George. Oh my goodness. Pays to be the bidder. Pays to be the bidder. I reckon, I reckon so. And I'm not going to tarry long, guys. This is one thing we don't do. Every once in a while we'll sit and beg. Sold him George Clayton and he's going to say two times, Mama. I know he is. <laughs> At that price, he'd want ten of them. 
Yep. Yep, that's what he said. He wants them both. Don't blame me, George. Don't blame Maybe a little too early for glass wire. May have to wait till 7 o'clock. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and start on some pocket knives. What are those called? Like candy dash? Compact? Uh, just call them uh, two candy bowls. Just a candy bowl? Yeah, just call them two candy bowls. Uh, Amberina. Or, well, uh, no, he gets... Two bladed guys, two bladed. He gets two two items, right? Yeah, two two items, two yeah. separate items. That'd be Just two. Like Eric Law got ten choice. Yeah. Ten items. Eric Law got ten items. Uh, this is an Imperial Providence uh, Rhode Island, I think. Imperial. It's got numbers and stuff on it there. Really nice guys. Two blade. Two blade. Has it ever been sharpened? Don't look like it's new? been sharpened. Is it brand new? Well, not brand new. I'm not going to call it brand new because it's... But it's never been sharpened. It's never been sharpened. It's nice. I love the color on it. Blades are tight. Two bladed. Blades are tight on it. Beautiful. Just trying not to get cut. On the first knife of the night, guys, somebody sent me about $20 and let's go. $20 bid, would you go 20 $20 bid, would you go 20 $20 bid on the first knife of the night. $20 bid, would you go 20 $20 bid, would you go 20 on the Imperial. I got 10, now 12 and a half. $10 bid, would you go 12 and a half. I got 10, now 12 and a half. $10 bid, would you go 12 and a half. I got 10, now 12 and a half. $10 bid, would you go 12 and a half. Got Mr. Ralph Smith in, hanging tight at ten dollars. Ten dollars, guys. Do I hear twelve dollars and a high? I got ten dollars. Do I hear twelve and a half? That's Imperial, beautiful. Imperial, made in Rhode Island, I think. I'm looking at the handle. Handle's nice, nice color. Like a slag. I got a ten dollar bill. Marble. Ralph coming in there strong at ten dollars, and we're not going to tarry long, guys. I'm going to be looking for my next item. All right, so that is Facebook. And the next item I got up is a historical item. I got Eric Law at twelve fifty on the knife. Yeah, I think that it's a symbol for black power. It's a pick. And pretty nice item. I love historical items. Ralph Smith is out. I'm at 1250 with Eric Law. Looking for 15. Ralph, appreciate your bid, buddy. Sure do. Hope y'all having a good time out there in Arkansas. I got my Whitney Strong shirt on again tonight. That my girls had us some made. We're doing Whitney Strong. Believing in God. Trusting in the good Lord. Hallelujah. And we're going to start snapping it down and wait about 10 or 15 seconds. And we're going to call that sold. Ralph Smith might change his mind and come back in a bit. Once we get past $10... It's $15 bids in, guys. Then it's $15 bids. <clears throat> Whoa. Jesus all the way. That's right, buddy. And we sold that to Eric Law for twelve fifty. Guys, we move our items quick. Thank you. So don't wait about bidding. Guys, this is something I found. It's got like the black power symbol of the 60s, uh, early 70s. And it's a pick. Pretty nice looking item. If you like collecting historical memorabilia, this would be something to collect and have.
I thought it was a neat item. I love historical items. All right. Where do you want to start it in at, guys? Somebody started in at a $5 bill, and let's go. $5 bill, where you go? Five. $5 bill on historical black power pick. Five dollar bibbity go five, five dollar bibbity go five, five dollar bibbity go five, 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 five dollar bibbity go five, five dollar bibbity go five. I don't know if there's anybody else that likes the historical stuff like I do, but I do. I do, I do. When I seen it, I thought it was a neat piece. Wanted to put it up. Maybe somebody else uh, likes collecting stuff like that. It's a period of history. In our history. That needs to be remembered. 60's and 70's. The bell bottoms. The flower kids. And all that kind of stuff. Our great Vietnam veterans. That didn't get the. Uh, accolades that they deserved so much. My dad fought in World War II. And they had ticker tape parades for them. And poor Vietnam veterans came home and didn't get the accolades they deserved. So thank you guys for your service. Uh, I know you didn't get it back then, but we're thanking you now. Most of them's uh, probably in their late 60s mm -hmm. and up in their 70s now. I don't know if i got any Vietnam vets on here, but thank you guys. We love you. We appreciate you going over to the jungles. Fighting for the United States and South Vietnam. All right, nobody wants that. I'll take that down to the end of the table. Going to the end of the table, guys. And now we're going to go with... Some more pocket knives. I need more pocket knife people on here. Guys, look at these. Oh my goodness. Now remember, this is not an absolute auction. I may not be letting some of these go. S&D Leopard handcrafted knives. They're in the tin, guys. No telling what these are worth. I've got two of them. We're going to be doing choice on them. I wanted to show you the tins first. That does snap down. I'm not going to snap it down. I want to show you the tins first. And then I'm going to show you the beautiful knives that are inside the tins. These will start out at $30. So they're getting choice? They're getting choice. And then I'm going to show you how they're displayed inside. Yeah, we were, we were, they will start out at $30. Ooh. Wait a minute, don't show them how it's displayed inside first. I want to show oh. them how it's displayed. Then we're going to take them out, and I'll let you hold them in front of the camera for me. Look how beautiful them are displayed. Now, Indy's going to take them out for me and hold them in front of the camera. They're one-bladed, I think. You're getting choice on them. Single blade does not look like it's been sharpened. And I'm only at five, guys. Now, I can't let them go that cheap. I'll just tell you that. And uh, did they stamp a thing on the, the edge of them? Stamp a thing on the oh, edge. Oh, look how pretty them are, guys. I've never seen none of these. Is there anything stamped on them, the blade? Not that I can see. So it's just what it says on the front. S&D Leopard Handcrafted Nice. Y'all see anything on the... And I've got a $15 bid, Bubba. Need 17 and a half, and they're a lot better than that. And he's going to show you the other one. Look at the colors on these. I've not seen none like these. I've never never seen one like these. Never heard of that name. These nice little tins that they come in. Look at the color on there. I mean, they are nice. And I'm only at $15. I thought, y'all, you guys have been asking about <clears throat> nice. So I do have some nice... And they're better than the $15, guys. I'm telling you that. A lot better. I thought I might have some nice people on here tonight, but I'm only at $15. 
We're at 15, looking for 17 and a half. Come on, guys, they're better than that. This is one of them times I may do a little begging, Sammy. I'd love to have got at least 20 out of them. I know they're worth that. But we're at 15. It is what it is. I'm too blessed to complain. Too blessed to complain, guys. I'm at 15, now 17, I'm going to wait uh, a few more seconds, guys. Y'all wrong on these. I'm telling you, yeah, Ralph Smith, I figured he'd be all over these. I'm telling you what. Oh, my goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, guys. Just waiting a few more seconds. I'm going to go ahead and put them back down in here. Somebody's going to enjoy these. Oh, my goodness. What a steal. I figured them would bring up there close to $40. These snap on here a certain way, so i got to be careful. Getting them snapped back on there. And then we're going to end this auction, this, this particular item. They snap on good. There they are, guys. Five seconds. Looking for 17 and a half. And I'm going to tell you, Sammy's probably going to take both of these little babies. I got $15, looking for 17 and a half, and I'm begging no more. Sold it, $15. And Sammy sits in the... Yeah, I've got the kissing crane that'll be coming up shortly. I knew he'd take both of them. Thanks for bidding, Bubba. I knew he'd take both of them. Man, oh man, good, good. Thanks for bidding there, the people that bid. And uh, congratulations to Sammy. You got a good deal on them, Bubba. All right, let's sell a Cracker Jack 10. Old Cracker Jack 10, guys. Popcorn. Ball players. The more you eat, the more you want. I wish I could eat some of them now. When I get my teeth, I'll be able to. On the Cracker Jack 10, guys. Look at there, look at there, guys. And it's not rusted or anything like that. There's your, what your bottom looks like. There's what your top looks like. And let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, the inside looks good, too. The top looks good, no rust or anything. Yeah, 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 you're still, still good, Sammy. You're good, brother. Cracker Jack Ball Player 10. You guys remember getting the Cracker Jacks in the boxes and the little prize that you get out of them? It wasn't much of a little toy to play with, but it was something. I bought me some marshmallows, too. You want any of these uh, pork skins, Mom? No, thank you. I'm done on gummy bears. Oh. On the tin, somebody. Surely somebody would get five. Let's say five dollars on the ten. I think Darling Manning's running behind, and she was bidding on the knives. I don't think she's bidding seventeen dollars on the cracker jack ten. I think, Darlene, you're going to have to refresh. Sammy got that for $5. Unless Darlene was bidding $17. <laughs> mm. Now, the marshmallows I can eat. All right, here's your boys. Oh. Darlene, honey, when you do hear me, you, you need to go out and come back in. You're way behind. You need to go out and come back in, honey. I got some more knives. Ralph Smith. I got some nice looking paperweights. Where's Linda? Linda Guffey when you need her. Got some nice looking parking. Mm mm mm. All right, guys. These is a pair of mittens, I think. 
Got the Velcro on them. Oh, yeah. That's what them are. Bare mittens, guys. For your kid to wear to school or to play out in the snow. Size 4 to 5. Color pink. Reflective. New with tag. Got the little thing there you can keep them together. All the mittens, guys. Then you, you put you put your hand in here and then you can tighten it up around your wrist. For the for your little kid. One pair is all I got. On the mittens, guys. Y'all bid what you want to, and I'm gonna eat another marshmallow. Yeah, you was behind, Darlene. I thought them knives was going pretty cheap. I've never seen none like that. But I got some more good knives coming up here in a little while. Did you get the crackers out of 10, Sammy? Y'all might have raised your cotton picking sights on this. Charlie Chip, remember their potato chips and their cookies? Now this is a nice tin right here. I don't think we do, Norman. Got that southern accent going out. Anybody want the mittens? They'll sell them for $3. Sell them for $3, guys. Put them on your little girl, little boy. On that, we're gonna have some. Still have some cold mornings. Man, them marshmallows are good. You can't just eat one of them marshmallows. But I'm gonna put them up over here. Get me some water. They're sweet. Make some good fudge with them. Make some good fudge, guys. Oh me, three dollars on the mittens, guys. Mitten, mitten. Who got the mittens? Three dollars. Going once. Somebody type in three dollars. This might be the winner on the wheel tonight. Had a winner last night. Delta won thirty dollars on the wheel last night. Every time you buy an item, uh, that'll be added to the number generator and whatever number. Like this item number. If you buy the mittens, is item number what, Mama? Eighty-five. This would have been 80, number 85. So the number generator says 85. You get a chance to win up to $50 in Uncle Jed Buck's Delta 130 last night. She didn't take Uncle Jed's offer. Oh. All right. Nobody on the men's. I got to take them down to the end of the table. I don't like say, taking stuff to the end of the table, guys. Y'all make me work hard for my money. So hard. And I want to thank Ralph and Best Smith because we're fixing to leave the building. So we sold all the DVDs. And if I've got any loose DVDs that's not over there in the rack, I'm throwing them in there too. So I won't be selling no DVDs or anything like that uh, that I already had laid out on the table to sell. Okay, those are going to go to Ralph Smith. I got one of these left. Let me go ahead and try to sell it real quick. We're going to just let it bid out. Uh, body Fantasies. Yeah, if I've got any more laying around uh, the place, uh, we'll make sure you get them. Indy's going to get all of them in a box, and we'll probably be moved over uh, to our other building by the time you guys get in. Uh, Sweet Crush, Japanese Cherry, uh, sweet pie or something like sweet pea or something like that. Selling the fantasies on Last one we got, we sold several of these. Somebody started out at five dollars and let's go. These are body sprays. Some of you guys done got them. I can't remember if they sold for ten dollars or what before, but I found that one had right. one left. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and sell it and get it on down the line, guys. Move it on down the line. 
down a few baseball and basketball cards here. A little bit stack of them. One of them's a Michael Jordan. Got Sandra Warden in it. Five dollars. Looking for six now. We won't tarry long. We'll not tarry long. Oh, I said I was putting the Charlie Chip up here in a minute. And these were the Charlie Cookies. I remember the Charlie Chip's truck coming around. Randall Wilms. Mark Wilms' daddy. Drove that Charlie Chip's truck for quite a few years. And Mama, we sold that to Sandra Warden for five dollars. Alrighty. It is gone and out of here. Alright guys, I told you I was gonna put the Charlie chip. Oh, it was good to see Charles Riddick today. Look there at that tin, guys. You see the Charlie chip cans a lot, but not the Charlie cookies. These are very collectible tins that people like to just uh, have a little nostalgia put up on their countertop or set them somewhere. Distributed by Mother's Potato Chips Incorporation. General offices, uh, Mountainville, Pennsylvania, guys. You don't see these little short ones very often. You see the big tall tins. That one's only five inches tall and comes across eight inches. Somebody set me in at $20 on that. You talking about a good piece right here. I'm sure if William Thomason was on here, he doesn't be bidding. I don't think he's on here yet. Him and Dana. Seven o'clock bids will be going up on things, guys. Every the, a lot of people will start coming in at seven o'clock. I've got no, I can't believe I got no bids on that. Cannot believe it. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna say ten dollar bid on it. a ten dollar bid on the Charlie Chips can. Ten. Somebody put ten in there. Cheers, and it's gone. And I'll be looking for my next item. Dana said me. Dana, I don't know if she said me that she's here or she wants it for ten dollars. I think she wants it for $10. If not, Dana, let me know, honey. And I don't know if Bonnie F. is on here yet or not, but I'm going to go ahead and try one of the Far King casserole bowls. Well, you got it, Dana. I'm going to try one of the Far King. Now, guys, it's not Pyrex. Pyrex bought out Far King, the, uh, an anchoring, anchor hawking. Uh, Anchor Hawking uh, and all that was, I think, sort of the same company now. But it's got Far King on the bottom. There we go. And it is beautiful, guys. A little narrow one. I love the I love the design on this piece. Love it, love it, love it. This is one of the smaller casseroles. Six and a half. And that's the inside. Ten inches on the inside. Count the handles would be twelve. Somebody set me in about $40 and let's go on that nice piece of parking. $40 baby to go 40. 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 $35. $35 baby to go 35. 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 On the nice Far King casserole, surely you would. $30 bid to go 30. $30 bid to go 30. $30 bid to go 30. $30 bid, y'all gonna make me keep going down, ain't you? $25 bid to go 25. $25 would you go 25. Come on, guys, y'all know it's worth that. $25 bid to go 25. Beautiful piece here. $25 bid to go 25. $25 piece would you go 25. Oh my goodness. $20 bid would you go 20. Sure you would. Y'all made me go down from 40 all the way down to 20. I'm going backwards. I need to be heading north to Alaska. Uh, Bonnie Elf's not on here yet. We may have to try that after the 7 o'clock hour. May have to try this Far King stuff after the 7 o'clock hour. 
because I got nobody that's bidding on this nice casserole piece, beautiful colors, different, in great, great shape. No chips, cracks, or anything like that. So we might try it after the seven o'clock hour. So I'm gonna put that back up until after the seven o'clock hour. And then I'll do choice on my parking pieces. And guys, this is just gonna be a mystery, mystery thing. <laughs> What you get in it, it's a basket full. I see an old pocket knife, old lighter, a little jewelry, uh, some you, spoons and forks, uh, one, of them, uh, one of them eggs down in there. Jewelry? Uh, just like a little, I see a pen, like a, that. That's why I cleaned up a table and there's just a little small a stuff. I had sterling silver on this table. Huh? I had a whole bunch of sterling silver on this table. I sold sterling silver last night. I didn't put that kind of jewelry down in there. I looked at every piece that I had. Well, I mean, where, where, where well, I, I put it probably down there. All the jewelry I put down there in that jewelry tote down there. Mm. If I didn't look at it. Hmm. But you're getting a basket full of mystery items. And I got a $5 bid on it. The spoons and the forks would be worth that, guys. <laughs> There's a little brass something over there. Nice little made out of something. I don't know what that's made out of. But I just got a $5 bid on the mystery thing. I figured you guys would want to bid on it and have some fun with it. So we'll be finding our next item we got up for bids. And I've got only $5. Guys, that little egg right there be worth that. Look how beautiful that is. You bidding on what's down in the toad. I'm not taking it out, guys. I put it down in there. If it goes for five, it can go for five dollars. I'm on zip this whatever this is I got here. I think this is some kind of cooler deal. I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. But I got George Clayton in at ten dollars. Twelve and a half on Sammy. Looking for fifteen. Come on, Facebook, y'all being too quiet over there. Let's hear it from the Facebook crowd. I got fifteen from George Clayton. Looking for seventeen and a half. Out to George. $15. George Clayton will put that in with the anvil. Alright guys. We have got the green edition. $2 and a half on the face mask. There's how many in there? Ten pieces in there guys. Three layers. You got the green. You got the black edition. You got the red edition. Thanks for bidding, Sammy. Congratulations, George. And that's what they are. They're red. You're getting them for two and a half. And then this is the hospital kind. Uh, this color package here, which looks like it's red. This is a darker red. They're two dollars and a half each. Ten of these triple filtered masks. Just tell me what color you want. Regular hospital color, which is blue, I think. Light, the light blue. And... Uh, just tell me which color. If it don't matter, just tell me how many you want of them. Two dollars and a half, guys. Two dollars and a half. Be a good little item to get your name in the drawing if you don't want to buy anything else tonight. You get ten of those masks. Can't buy nowhere else like that. And it's a three-layer purification mask. Hello. Two dollars and a half, guys. I didn't see it, did. Who? 
Who is that trying to bid now? Kathy Scott was trying to bid on the uh, casserole dish and. Oh, we tell her it didn't sell. We're going to put it back up in a little bit, but I never see seen it. her bid. We didn't see the bid. No, sure didn't. It didn't come through, Kathy. But you, I've seen your other comments on there. Hmm. Type something in there right now, Kathy. So, type hello. Jerry said to type hello and see if it comes up for us. All right, on the face mask, guys, 10 of them. Three layer, two and a half, surely you would. We're going to leave them up for a minute. They're good to have if you're out and about. I guess they'd be good in if you're working around dust or something like that, too, I guess. She typed it in? She typed it in, yeah. I'm not seeing nothing from her. Is she on the right account? I'd seen her earlier. She's on Facebook. Yeah, I've seen her earlier. Mm -hmm. Or is, is Facebook dragging? She sees it on her. Somebody else typed I something. I see it on mine. It's like mine's frozen. Can I you see her bit of 20, too. Facebook, my comments are frozen on Facebook, I think. Oh, his comments are frozen on there, huh? They're not going up automatically. Let me, let me, uh, let me, see. guys, I'm going to take a second and redo my Facebook. Just hold on a second. It's on the YouTube. I'm not seeing my comments. His, his comments on Facebook wasn't going up on, on automatically, so. Yeah, there, I can see them now. They're, they're there. I'm on my pop-up. Right, I think we got a fix, baby. He'll put that back up in a little bit, honey. I'll put it back up. All right. Did she bid 20 on it? All right. Bye. Right. Love y'all. Okay. Now I've got it. Now, for some reason, the Facebook comments stopped on me, guys. It wasn't scrolling up automatically for you, is what it was. Refreshing or something. Twilo, which color do you want? Does it not matter? Let me see what all I missed here. Ray said yeah. uh, he couldn't get Facebook to catch up, so he came to YouTube. Yeah, we got Twilight. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people that was talking. No wonder Facebook was quiet. And I did get some other bids. I'm sorry, guys, if I missed your bid on Facebook. It don't matter. Twilight gets one of them, Mama. It don't matter, she said. Put her down for one of the face, face masks. Somebody else type something, make sure I'm getting uh, my uh, comments on. Uh, somebody on Facebook just say hello, hello, make sure my Facebook is scrolling. Yeah, for some reason my Facebook uh, comment section froze up on me. Good thing we got that fixed, figured out. There we go, Now, yeah, it's scrolling now. Test, yep, yep. Yep, now it's doing it. I got all of it marked in for one of the uh, face masks. And guys, if you've been on something a while ago on uh, Facebook, I wasn't ignoring you. Facebook froze up on me. I just thought nobody. That's why I said give me a big shout out, Facebook. And, uh, Is it scrolling up for you now, good? Yeah, Miss Lambert, uh, have fun at your church service. I'm sorry I didn't get to see it when you left. Now I see Kathy Scott. There we go. But I got Kathy Scott when we put the casserole dishes back up. Starting bid of twenty dollars. I'm gonna do choice on them. Mm. Now, Ray, Ray, we something was wrong with my Facebook too. But I'll have to keep an eye on that. You keep an eye on yours over there because you'll be able to see it too, Mama. Yeah. Watch out for that for me. I just sold one of these. Hello, Ned Oliver. Anybody want the uh, three layer pur purification mask? Ten of them in there. I got red, green, blue, and hospital blue. And black, I think. Two dollars and a half. So one to Twala Martin. Thank you, Twala. 
And we'll try it after 7 o'clock and see if we can pass out some more of them. Uh, Sammy Simpson gets a green one. Guys, and I don't really, I think this is a cooler. I'll put it up here. It's brand new. If I can figure out how to get it open. Oh, opens double, double zipper there. Double zipper. Now that you would put something cool in. Cold drinks or something. And let's see. The other thing you would put. I don't know what in. Oh, it's a pick and pick them a nick thing. Look at there, guys. I was about to say, it'd be perfect for a picnic. It's a picnic. There's a, them are actually metal spoons in there and forks. And it's got plates that are plastic. Goodness, guys. Brand new. Date night. There it is right there. I didn't know what it was. And you put your cold food right over here, or your hot food in. In there. Cold or hot right in there. But there it is, guys. Isn't that pretty cool? I like it. Somebody set her in about $20 and let's go. <clears throat> and guys, I'll say set her in at whatever, but you guys are going to set it in at whatever anyway. $20 bid, but you go 20 I got 6 now, right. 7 $6 bid, and that offer is in at 6 over on Facebook. Better than that, guys. I got 6 now, 10 6 10 6 10 Got a net offer in at $6 now, 7 6 now, 7 $6 bid. I need something. I got a $10 bid from Delta Simmons. Guys, I'm going to shut it up so I can be finding my next item while you guys are bidding it out. While you guys are bidding it out. I'm at $10. Yes, I got twelve fifty from Annette Oliver. Now looking for fifteen dollars, guys. Facebook's came alive. Got fifteen. Now seventeen and a half. Fifteen dollar dividend go seventeen and a half. I got fifteen now seventeen and a half. Fifteen dollar dividend go seventeen and a half. Y'all bid. Y'all just keep on bidding, guys. Hey, Ricky. I got fifteen dollar dividend go seventeen and a half. $15 bid, but he goes 17 and a half. Got to go. Going to wait about 10 seconds. I'm finding my next item that I'm putting up. Finding my next item that I'm putting up. Got 17 and a half. Well, I can sit down and rest. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a doctor and a nurse. I figured Delta might be bidding on the nurse or one of them or Kathy. Delta's out, and Ned Oliver got that at $17 and a half. Thanks for bidding, Delta. Next, I've got the doctor. He's made out of poly. The little nurse is, is uh, left, I think, left in, and she's made out of porcelain. Choice on them, guys. Choice on them. Y'all bid a long time on them so I can rest a minute. Yeah, it was my fault on that. Thank you, uh, Ned Oliver. Congratulations. Thank you, Delta, for bidding. I got Delta Simmons in at $2 and a half. The old minimum bid Delta. I got some pork skins over there, too. I was hungry. I went to the dollar store. We spent $40 over there on snacks. Them things to tear my gums up. Them soft. Them are soft. I got the soft kind. There's certain kinds you can get. Now there might be a hard at the end of it, but I can I can actually eat them. Man, YouTube's gone quiet on me now. 
Hey, Twyler. Oh, she's saying hi to somebody else. She wasn't even saying hi to me. I'm at two and a half now, three. Two and a half now, three. On the little porcelain nurse or the poly doctor. It looked like he's he's ready to, I don't know, he might be a dentist. He's got a drill or something in his hand. He's ready for surgery. But I hope we didn't miss uh, uh, nobody a while ago. I was at, I got five, and now I'm at six dollars with Delta Simmons. I got six dollars over on Facebook first, George Clayton, with Delta Simmons. You do a choice on this? Choice on them. And y'all keep bidding. I got somebody bidding on YouTube and two people bidding on Facebook, and uh, I'm getting to rest my back a little bit. I got to get me something to stand on. A mat. A mat. Yeah. That's what I got an eight dollar bid. I got a I got an eight dollar bid. I got an eight dollar bid over on Facebook, George. George came in at seven over on YouTube. I'm looking for a nine dollar bid now. Choice on them. What is that bottom on this one right here say? You stand on it to do dishes. That's what I've got in my hand. Hand painted Lefton. That's a Lefton piece there, guys. George Clayton's at nine. Cassie's at ten. And this is Master of Miracles. Mm -hmm. Gifted Hands. Is what that one is. I got a $10 bid over on Facebook. Choice on them, guys. That left in piece is definitely better than that. George Clayton, thanks for bidding, old buddy. North Carolina, buddy. Jed from another shed. We're 18 minutes away from our normal time. We'll probably have some more people joining us then. And the bids probably start going up a little bit or be getting more bids in then. But we've done, hard to believe we've been, uh, been going over an hour, guys. And I'm moving stuff pretty quickly. Except on this one, I rested a little bit. Looking for a $12 and a half bid. Going to wait just a few more seconds. India said I needed a haircut. I, I feel like I need more a toupee. <laughs> Mine's getting George Clayton said out. Now my backup bidder will be George Clayton. Cassie Scott is at ten dollars. And we sold no. Whoop. Christy Shields came in at twelve and a half. Right there, I was just, I had the S coming out of my mouth. You talking about cutting it into the line. I'm at 12 and a half. Now I need $15 bid. Sure enough, guys, I mean, I had the S coming out of my mouth. Good thing I was watching the screen. Just like that one song, he goes, uh, Benny and the Jets. Yeah, the S. I had it. I just hey, listen, next time I just didn't have the O jets. coming out yet. You know it. That's cutting it close. All right, I got fifteen now. Oh, Elton. I got fifteen now. Seventeen now. Y'all let me rest a long time, guys, on this item. Resting a long time. Seventeen and a half now. Twenty dollar bill, guys. Mama, do we need any of them for Easter? You oh, think like colored eggs? They'll stuff? color double. If we need them, we'll keep these. Mm -hmm. Not I'm selling the whole stack. Will we need any of them, you think, to color eggs? Let me pull. If you're going to sell the whole stack, let me just grab a couple. How's just that? grab it all then. Grab, grab you. A, it just takes a couple to color. I'll take the tie dye. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll leave another tie dye for some. Ow! I just want one of them. Here you go. Christy Shields wins it. Which one do you want, Christy? Let Christy take her time and pick them. I guys, I got some eggs. Easter Easter's coming up. She's taking both of them. And it's a good thing she took both of them. And Kathy Scott, you're going to be so sad because the surgeon, one of them was a penny item. We didn't have no penny items last night. Bam! 
The surgeon was the penny item, so Christy Shields, congratulations, first penny item of the night. Uh, had the old surgeon up for a penny, didn't want nobody to know it. Y'all didn't, didn't give no clues out, but the, the uh, nurse is 1750 and the other items a penny. So sorry about that, you, you guys should have kept on bidding. Should have kept on bidding. Guys, I, it's Easter's around the corner. And I've got some the Easter coloring stuff. There's a tie-dye one. And these are all going together. I'm selling the whole sack. Lava eggs and dragon eggs. And uh, another little package. It's got 120 stickers and stuff like that in it. Whole stack. So doing them, them uh, hard-boiled eggs, guys. You're ready for Easter. Which is, I think, end of March this time, this year. I believe it is the last day of March. You're right? getting that whole stack of where you can color eggs. Kids will have fun. Andy took... I left uh, the tie-dye in there, so there was two tie-dyes. I didn't take... <coughs> she took one, out, one of the tie-dyes. <coughs> but you're getting what I just showed you. Y'all go ahead and bid on it all you want to. You're welcome, Christy. I got a $3 bid from Sammy on the whole stack, guys. Looking for $4. Ricky, I got marshmallows over there that you can eat. Melissa Williams said it's March 31st and also her birthday. Oh, Delta Simmons, we didn't waste them. Ask your mama. When we was kids, that's what we hid was them hard-boiled eggs, and we ate them. We don't care how long they was laying in the hot sun. We busted them babies open, got us some salt and pepper, and we ate them. I don't know. If, I don't even know if we colored them or not. <laughs> like we may have just hit hard boiled white eggs. I can't remember. But I'm only at three dollars. Oh, ain't no wasting them. <laughs> you guys remember that when you was younger? We didn't have a lot of those candy eggs. We had hard boiled eggs. And I don't know how some of us didn't get food poisoning. Because sometimes it was real cool in that uh, Easter and sometimes it was real hot. And they hid them eggs and you could find one later on. You didn't want to eat it. Yummy. Yeah, You'd find it about a month later laying out there. Mm -hmm. But most times the snakes would get them. If uh, you didn't find them, the snakes would get them. I don't know if a squirrel would eat one or not. They probably would. But I've got three dollars and I'm moving on down the line, guys. That's a good deal, Sammy. You'll have fun with your grandkids. I sold that whole stack to Sammy, Ma. All righty. Sold that whole stack oh, to Oh, Eric come in too late then on the four dollars? Yeah, Eric, okay. you came in too late, buddy. I don't think I got no more. I'll, I'll check and see. I waited a long, long time. We'll probably have some more Easter stuff before you Guys, go. I got a brand new belt here. It is a black belt. It says forty-five dollars on it. Twist reversible belt. Yeah, so the buckle will twist. Either. Oh, the buckle will twist around so you, you can, can reverse it. Either, either side. side of the belt, yeah. And what size is that? Thirty-two. It's a thirty-two. What's the brand of it again? Uh, is it Dickie? Just said forty-five dollars. There's a price tag on it. Brand new belt. I don't see a name on it. Oh, yeah, there's a name. Uh, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein, that's right. Calvin Klein, guys. Okay. $45 belt. And probably more than that now if you want to go buy one. Brand new. It's got the stickers on it and everything there, as you can see. $45 price tag, size 32. Easter's coming up. You're going to need a new belt. $45 price tag. Y'all bid on it like you want to there. Let them bids come in a little bit faster, guys, so I can move items a little bit quicker. Now, Mom, anything that was sterling over here, I piled in a pile over here. All right. And so... You know there's two crystal candle holders there matching? Yes. On that shelf. Uh, some void bears over here. Yeah, you got got them ready for me. I have the void bears, not the beanies yet. I can get the beanies ready here. Yeah, get the beanies ready for me. I'll do choice over there. I'll do choice on these void bears. Yeah. 
Here coming up. Nobody's bidding on the brand new belt. I guess everybody's don't need to hold their britches up. Well, Y'all bid what you want to on that belt. It don't matter if it was forty five dollars. Bid what you want to on it. It is on that smaller size, so it might be better for a kid. Yeah, it's probably thirty. You can't wear it. No, I can't wear it, and I wear a size uh, thirty, thirty, uh, thirty in the length, and thirty or thirty two, thirty two in the waist. But it's even though I wear a 32 in the waist, it's too uh, too small for me. So it takes somebody that wears a 30 or 28 or something like that. Still a nice belt, and I'm not gonna wait much longer on it, guys. We're not gonna sit there and big. Not gonna sit there and big. Two dollar and a half sold to Delta Simmons. Look at that little carnival glass swan, guys. Where's Brian Laplu at when you need him? Look at that little carnival glass swan. It's got some kind of initials down inside of it. It's got an M in it, in the middle of the shape of something. Beautiful little miniature piece here. Beautiful little miniature piece, and I'm only at five dollars, guys. This is a beautiful little carnival glass uh, swan, little miniature there. And that you can't the car you can't really see, you can see it there better. Beautiful little carnival glass piece, and I've got a five dollar starting bid on it. Got Ralph Smith in at six dollars. Beautiful little piece there, guys. Told y'all we had some really good items tonight, guys. Y'all, y'all hang with us. Hang in there with us, like a hair in a biscuit. I'm at eight dollars with George Clayton. Ralph Smith is out. Who did I sell that to? The belt. Delta, Delta Simmons. You any kind of Mabel Simmons, Medea Delta? What is that? A carnival swan? Yeah, and I've actually got two more of them. Now some of their heads are in different positions, like their oh, look, they, their face, look at their necks, their beaks. Oh, yeah. They're, they're similar, but they're different. Similar, but them two are pretty, no, they're a little bit different head position. See there? I've got a total of three of them, George. This one's neck sticks down a little further, and this one looks like it's looking to the right a little bit more than that one. And they're, of course, the shading in the carnival glass is a little different. They're watching out for each other. Watching each other's back. But I've got a total of three of them. George takes all three of them. Pays to be the bitter, guys. That ain't very often. Now, guys, I've found these cards over here. I'm just selling whatever I come to. That's a Michael Jordan card. Uh, I don't know who that is. I just found these cards over there. Carl Malone. Muggsy, Muggsy Bogues. John Paxton. Isaiah Thomas. You're getting all of these. Pretty good names. Patrick Ewan. 
Chuck Daly. And I have no idea that was part of some kind of puzzle thing there. Oh, there's Larry Bird. And on the back side of it is P.J. Carcino, the coach. But there's Larry Bird in a hard shell thing. Uh, another Larry Bird. One of my favorite ball players growing up. They're getting all of them. Getting all of them. Chris Mullins. I always liked him too. Oh. Clyde Drexler. Clyde the Glide. That's a nice looking little card. Robert Parrish. He played for Boston at one time. Uh, I don't know what uniform is in there. But you're getting all these and I'm only at $3. George Clayton was in first. You're getting all of them. George Clayton was in first. Over on YouTube. Guys on Facebook, y'all can jump in there anytime you'd like to, anytime you feel like it. Got Sammy Stinson at four. One of them cards might be worth a lot of money. Guys, I do have some Boyd Bears tonight. Got some Beanie Babies. Got some more nice coming up. And for those of you just now tuning in, we had an early bird sale. Started a little after 530. And uh, for those of you just now tuning in, you've not missed out on a whole lot. We've not moved a whole lot of items. We sort of took our time and had some fun. Still got some nice, nice, and nice items coming up uh, for sale. We just started earlier. I'm at $4 looking for a $5 bill, guys, and I'm waiting about 10 seconds. I'm looking for my next item. I know I've already got my next item ready to rock and roll. And it's going to be an eight color combo conceal and contour. 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 How do you pronounce that? Contour? Is it contour of makeup? Contour. Conceal and contour. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Got that coming up. Brand new. Called Truly Nude Eight Color Combo Concealer. And thank you for bidding, George Clayton. Sammy Stinson, you're the winner of those cards, Mama. I'm going to put them right here on this corner. Okay. So they won't get... Alright, guys. Brand new. Eight color combo. This stuff is not cheap. You guys know how much this stuff is. Eight color combo. Conceal and contour. Malibu Glitz, guys. All right, ladies, I told you I'd have something besides uh, pocket nice and guy stuff and things like that. I told you I'd have stuff for the ladies also tonight. There it is, right there. I'll let you guys bid it out. I'll be looking for the next item up for bids. I'm at two and a half. Guys, and I'll just tell you, I can't let these go at two and a half. I'm sorry. I know I let other stuff go, but I can't let these go at two dollars and a half. I'm going to put a bite now on these of eight dollars. I've got three of them. Then that's cheap. That's below wholesale. I got an imperial knife coming up. I'm going to put $8 on them, and that's what they got to go for, guys. <clears throat> and they're worth that. I ain't got but three of them. Are you going to put any barbecue chains up tonight, Uncle Jed? Any what? Any of the barbecue chains. Well, you sold them last night at $5. Somebody want to put up? 
Yeah. Or yeah. I'll just I'll just find out how many and then Who who is it asking? And tell them I I'll put them all up. I can put them all up again. I just got the hillbilly one in the well, city. Well, them personally messaging me, I don't know if they want them. Oh, I just tell them. Who it is tell them if they want them, we can sell them all. Delta takes one of them, Mama. Uh, what I say? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Anybody else? Eight dollars a piece, guys, and that's cheap. And while I'm at it, I'm not even gonna bid these out. This is a ultimate combination makeup set that I'm gonna sell for ten dollars. And I'm just going to go ahead and put them up there, too. This is the ultimate makeup I'm going to sell for $10. I've got several of them. Tell me how many you want. i got two of these left. And I'm going to sell them for $10. Delta took one of the Truly Nudes. And then I've got that big set I'm selling for $10. And I'll tell you how many i got of them. i got a total of five of them. What does that say on the big one? Uh, Something makeup set. Ultimate combination makeup ultimate set. combination. Okay, thanks. Guys, that is a, a great price on them. I got a total of five of them. Ten dollars or eight dollars. Then I got an Imperial pocket knife coming up. Stainless Imperial. Stainless. Just says stainless and pure on it. Oh, it's got something on the blade here. Razor blade stainless. Super Super Razor Blade Stainless USA it says on it. USA, made it in the USA, wow. Anybody on the makeup? Let's just do either one of them for eight dollars. That way we won't get confused. Alrighty. I figured I'd sell out of them pretty dang quick. Everybody's went quiet on me. Melissa Williams wants the eyeshadow. Which one's the eyeshadow? This one. You're asking me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Eyeshadow. That's what it is. Good deal. Melissa Williams takes where'd I put them? Probably. Melissa Williams takes one of the eyeshadow. Eight dollars. Anybody else, guys? Thank you, Melissa. Delta, you don't want one of these here? You took one of the others, might as well go ahead and take one of them. I ain't got but four of them left and two of these left, guys. Let's sell them out. I got the Imperial Knife coming up. Then I got some paperweights coming up. And I got a sticker or something on my foot. Anybody else? Sure you need it, Delta. Come on off that money. Spend some of Leslie's money. Then I got, look here what I got coming up, guys. Get that thing cleaned. Corn Cookie bread. some cornbread in there. I hadn't seen one of them in a long time. And this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven one. I've ate plenty of them, baby, out of that. It don't take much to put some bacon grease and stuff down in there and Get them all cleaned up and stuff. That's a nice one, too. 
Got that coming up here in a minute. Guys, I'm going to put these to the side. Try to move some more of them here in a little bit. Need to move them. Don't need to move them to the... Well, I could move them to the house, I guess. All right, let's put this imperial knife up first. And then I'll do the cornbread thing. Two-bladed imperial knife. As you can see, it's made in the USA. Pretty daggum nice, guys. Razor blade, stainless, super or something. It's got Imperial USA on it. Oh, Delta spending the Uncle Jed bucks. You sure enough should have bought them then. I forgot she won $30 in Uncle Jed bucks last night. I ain't making a bit of money on her. I got 10 now, 15. 10. Guys, it's better than that. That's Imperial USA two bladed. I'm only at 10 bucks. Y'all bidding on knife prices from 1960s and 70s. What happened to my knife, people? Good night. I don't think I've sold a knife really that's what it's worth in a long, long time. I'm at 12 and a half now, 15. 12 and a half now. Let me move out where you can see it a little better. Now I got 15. Now 17 and a half. 15 now, 17 and a half. 15 dollar video, 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. 15 dollar video, 17 and a half. I do have some glassware that I'm going to sell tonight. Thanks for bidding, Sammy. I'm at 15 now, 17 and a half. Better than that, guys. It's at least a 30 some dollar knife, at least. But I'm only at 15 dollars. Looking for 17 and a half. Sammy Stinson's out. I'm going to wait. I uh, got 17 and a half now, $20 bill. Yeah, Delta, hurry up, spend that Uncle Jed bucks so I can get in some of your money. Twala Martin's at 17 and a half. No, George Clayton bid first, Twala. Uh, George Clayton had bid first. Dana Thomas is in at 20 so it don't matter now. Dana Thomas is in at $20. Dana Thomas is in at 20 now 22 and a half. I'm going to go ahead and put them blades down, guys, if y'all don't care. And then I got the corn, cast iron cornbread thing coming up next. Y'all going to be fighting over it. Thanks for bidding, Twala. Dana's in. Ralph's out. Twala's out. George Clayton's not set out yet. We're going to pull the camera back and wait just a few seconds. See if George wants to keep going. Or not. And I want to be looking for my next item after my cast cast iron item that I got going here. Solinger. I think this is a, what they call a kissing crane, ain't it, Ricky? Oh, Liberty no. Bell. I don't know, dude. Rob, Cross, Solinger, Germany. Yeah, it's got the two double kissing cranes on it. Look at that one. That's a nice pocket knife right there. Got the kissing crane on it. George Clayton said, out, Mama. Uh, who got this? Dana Thomason. Thanks for bidding George. Thanks for bidding Ralph. Thank you, Thanks for bidding Twala. And Dana Thomason, congratulations. You won that night for $20 for win. Alright guys, we've got the kissing crane coming up. That's an old knife. Look at here. Best knife of the night, guys. Yo, kissing crane. Look at the color on that. The Germany knife. Now y'all go ahead guys. This is a there it is right there. There's the blade right there. Uh, I think it's called Liberty Bell. Blade's not in that bad a shape at all. You talking about a nice knife. I love the color of that. That's an older knife, guys. 
Oh my goodness. We may have a C note here on this baby. Got 25. 27 and a half. We're going to sit her down right there and let you guys enjoy looking at that. Kissing crane knife. And I'm at 27 and a half. I think it's worth a C note. We'll see what everybody else says. I've got 30. You guys bid it out. Anybody wants to jump in on Facebook, I'll keep up with YouTube over here. And I'll be watching Facebook. I said I was going to put the cornbread thing up next, but I jumped. I let the kissing crane jump ahead of me. I'm only at $30, guys. We ought to be up there farther than that. I'm at $32.5. Now $35. I'm at $32.5. Now $35. $32.5. Now $35. Thirty-two and a half. Now thirty-five dollars, guys. I should have sat down on this one and got to rest a little bit. It's what me should have done. Cause I'm at thirty-five. You have to lay it down and just go over top. We're way off, guys. Still way <laughs> off. On. Let's go over top. We're only at thirty-five dollars. Oh my goodness! For kissing crane. Germany, oh, Ralph Smith, this is the kind you've been waiting for, buddy. I thought I'd get close to a $100 bill out of this. Two, two, one, nine. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, my. I'm only at $35. Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell, kissing crane. First kissing crane I've had in a while, ain't it, Ralph? But I'm at $35. Got paperweights coming up, nice colored glass coming up, comic books coming up. Uh, got some new stuff coming up, guys. 37 and a half, Sammy changed his mind. I got 37 and a half, now 40. It's better than that. I, I was thinking a C note. I sure was. I was thinking getting a C note out of that. Take care of that, honey. Shoulders back. Yeah, I got 40. I'm getting up close to that C note, ain't we, guys? George Clayton ain't out yet. I got a sneaky feeling he's going to come in there with a half a C note. It'll go for whatever. Oh, Sammy says out for good. You're not out for good, Sammy. You're never out for good, but we're $40. Guys, and I'm going to wait 15 seconds looking for my next bid. We like to move items quickly, even when I got 42 and a half from Dana Thomason. New blood. new blood, new blood coming in. George Clayton's in at 45. Still got three active bidders on it. Nobody over on Facebook. Uh, Facebook's not froze again, is it, Mama? I don't believe so. Okay. Well, it didn't. My comments froze. My Facebook didn't freeze. $45 bid now, 47 and a half. I got Ralph Smith in at $50. Dana Thomason sit out. Bidding increments now are $5 each. We've made it way halfway to the C note. I mean, I've had to work really hard for that. <laughs> to get halfway there. But I'm happy, guys, and you're happy. We're at $50. Dana Thomason sit out. That's a $300. Where are we at? $50? We're at $50 only. <laughs> Uh, what's bid? So fifty-five next. Fifty-five dollar is the next bid. Fifty-five. I got a fifty-five dollar bid over that over on Maybe. Facebook. Or just that's in house. Click on. Maybe. 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 Y'all can y'all can just say it out loud or put your bids on Facebook yeah. either one. Now looking for sixty. Lord, I was wrong on my C note and what they're saying. It's a half price snap, I've seen it. Y'all in at 55? They're in at 55, guys. It keeps pulling that up right there. Now I'm looking for a $60 bid. George Clayton is out. We got $55, guys. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you don't know what you got. <laughs> Ralph Smith is out. Good knife, guys. They're saying this might be a $300 knife. It's 
This is not an absolute auction, but I'm going to let it roll, guys. I picked up a few pocket knives today. Uh, some of them I'm losing money. Maybe. I don't know for sure because I, I bought a lot of them. Uh, so I don't know how much I got in each one of them or not. But I just wanted to have something different tonight. Ralph Smith's back in at 60. 65. 65. You heard that, Ralph? I'm getting the rest good on this, guys. Take you a break there, honey. I'm taking me a break. I'm at 65. I can't find it. But it's showing it. But I can't find it. Mm. Looking for a $70 bill. And you guys that set out is welcome to jump back in. Ralph Smith set out again. I'm at 65. We're going to wait about 15 seconds, guys. 15, 20 seconds. I've got my next item up. I'm going to be finding my next items. I think I'm going to do the paperweights after I do the cornbread. Those of you have been waiting. Hidden, I've got an elephant coming up. I thought I had two of them. Right there it was. Right there. All right, guys. Just a few more seconds. I'm going to go and shut the blade down. Only at $65. I love the, hey, I'm going to show you this one more time. Look at the color of that handle. That's an older knife. Look at the color of that. This is going to be well worth the money, guys. Well worth the money. And Chrissy's telling me to shut up. <laughs> All right. We're raising the hammer up. Let me find it. They're saying hurry up and sell it. Nothing on Facebook. Nothing on YouTube. Sold that knife. I love the color of that. Just think if you clean that up. Ricky's going to clean it up. Oh, God. That's that's going to be beautiful. Yeah, that'll be a Hey, and that's a good price on that. I didn't know you could buy a kissing crane that cheap. Any kissing crane. All right, guys, I've been telling you I'm going to sell this cast iron thing here. Somebody go and start me in. There ain't nothing on here. David said it looked like a big piece of delicious beef jerky. That's exactly the color of it. You described that. I couldn't describe it no better. But, guys, y'all remember these? There's your little uh, heat pegs there. This is a seven holder. Seven's a more rare thing, and plus it's God's number. Somebody go ahead on this cast iron piece. Start me out at 20, because I know it's going to go up higher than that. And let's rock and roll. Mm -hmm. It just takes some grease to clean that up. Put it on your grill. You can put it on your grill and put some lard in it or put a few pieces of bacon in it. Let that bacon grease absorb in that and clean that real good. Uh, there's all kind of uh, things on uh, YouTube and Google that uh, would let you know how to do this one. And I'm only at $10, guys. It makes some delicious cornbread. Depends on your cornbread ingredients that you put in it. But kids love it. You can take that and dip it down in your white beans or your pinto beans. Man, I had some white beans down at Sam's the other day. Them was the best white beans I've had in a long time. They wasn't out of a can or anything like that. And they wasn't too mushy. And they wasn't hard or anything. I've got a small bowl and I should have got a big bowl of them. But we ate them up real good and got me a chuck wagon with white gravy on it. I must be hungry. <laughs> but everything everything was delicious. We uh, enjoyed our meal down there. It's a lot cheaper than eating across the road at McDonald's. And uh, If you want to look back in the kitchen, they'll let you go to the door, look back in the kitchen, holler at them. But pray for uh, their son. He's having a lot of... Uh, problems with his liver really really bad that he's probably going to need a liver transplant if he can get one and uh think they're fixing to go to louisville but remember eli in your prayers sam and uh what's her name is, is it her aunt no is ex kim. kim the mama uh but sam and peggy and then kim the mama uh they're in her prayers eli's a he's a good boy i mean i just got the biggest heart of, of anybody and stuff. And uh, 
He's got, uh, man, I just seen a $200 bid. Where'd it go? Somebody put that back up there. I got $10 right now. Man, I, I promise you guys, a $200 bid flashed up. Now I got a $20 bid. Kathy Scott, hun, I'm not going to do you like that. There's nobody else's bid. She may have not known that you've seen that bid. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you at ten dollars, honey. I'm not gonna do you like that. You you bid against yourself, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let this go. I mean, even though it's worth twenty, uh, I'm, I'm gonna let it go. I'm not. It's not gonna be one of those items where I say it didn't bring enough. <coughs> but I'm looking for twelve and a half. Is what I'm looking for. But you got to bid at ten dollars. I'm not gonna do you like that. Good Lord wouldn't let me sleep tonight. He'd have me, he'd give me bad dreams. I dreamed last night. Timmy Sloan's two boys, Michael and Randy, and then uh, Ricky Sloan's boy. What was his name? Eric. Eric. Uh, that we was all down at Green Valley, and uh, what was it? I was, I was cutting up with them or something. I don't know why I dreamed about them. Randy Sloan was on here a while ago. I don't know if it was Big Randy or Little Randy, but we're gonna go ahead and sell that mop for ten dollars. It need to be cleaned up a little bit and stuff. You talking about some good cornbread? Jiffy cornbread would be good in that too. So Kathy Scott, you won that at ten dollars. All right, let's move right along here, guys. Now, guys, this is a uh, look at this right here. Mad Bite 9 inch big game staking knife. Big game staking knife by Cass King Fishing Company. Uh, let me see if I can get it out. Oh my goodness. Look at here, guys. Raise your cotton picking sights. I'm afraid to, I'm, I don't want to get cut. Y'all remember when I cut myself online? Get off that knife, just go ahead and cut yourself. Yeah. Now we can close. Look at that, guys. <laughs> What a knife, guys. I'm going to put that back in there so I won't get cut. Live on the air. I've done it twice. It's a uh, Cast King. Guys, this is probably a $40 juggle at Jerry. Bill, over you hush. I seen something today that said Wisconsin on it when I was out doing a little picking. I should have got it for you. New York City, Garden City, New York City. Cast King Fish and Tackle. That must, that's just a big old fillet knife. The only one I got. And let's just do a $20 bite now, guys. That's worth $20 for you guys that skin them fish. That's worth $20 all day long. Let's just sell it for $20. It's worth that all day long. Somebody go ahead and give me $20 for it. It's worth that, every penny of it. Man, that thing is, the box is 17 inches. The knife is 15 inches. Let's just do a $20 bite now. It's worth that. Ray Jenkins got it. Well, Ray, you be careful of that. I know you do a lot of fishing, you and uh, your son there. So you be careful of that. Frankie, I was trying having trouble remembering his name. Yeah, be be extra careful with that thing. Oh my goodness, guys! And I'm gonna do a twenty dollar these. Now these, you go to the Smoky Mountain Knife Store, this Victor Knox Swiss Army, uh, Masters of the Original Swiss Army Knife. Uh, I guess that would be a cooking knife. A fillet. Now this is another fillet knife. This is another fillet knife, and these are not cheap. Any knife you get down there, you can go to that wholesale place. You can't even get this knife wholesale price at twenty dollars. Vic, Victor Knox, and I hope a Swiss Army. I'm gonna do this. will go quick at twenty dollars. Play knife. It's about the same size as that other one. About thirteen inches overall length of the package is seventeen. But I'm gonna do a twenty dollars on that, and that's ridiculous. 
because I'm pretty sure that Ralph Smith got that at 20. Ralph seen it. Ralph got that in that 20 mile with the Victor Knox play night. What a deal, what a deal, what a deal, guys. Now you guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up uh, letting the women have some good stuff. I've got some diffusers. One cent diffuser with reeds, whatever that means. Oh, I guess, what what is a diffuser? I don't forgot. So, yeah, it just uh, puts the oil smell in the Oh! Air. No fire, no flame. No fire, nothing. No danger. Guys, y'all have to bid to... It just absorbs what? through that rod, right? Yeah, it, is all it, it does? absorbs into that wood and then the scent goes out into mm -hmm. the air. So no electricity. It don't smell bad. You don't None have to that. use uh, anything else except for that. Is it an alcohol smell? So that's going to be real potent, and it's, it's just going to be real. strong. It's going to be so strong, gonna, guys. It's going to fill the room easy. It'll fill the room up. It's really almost got like a tattoo. It's called saphonitis saf or something like that. Okay. There's your reeds right there. There's the way it is, guys. I'm, I tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and do a bite now on these, these diffusers for $10. I've got a few of them. Look like the Ed Hardy knockoff, almost. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I was uh, I was thinking more of like a tattoo thing. Yeah, Let's Hardy. do $10 a piece on them. That... Saphonitis. <laughs> they do not have this one. I've got three of them. And you, you'll like it, guys. Them will them help uh, destroy any scent anywhere. I've got three of them. Let's do $10 each on them. They're well worth that. Not going to come down no lower than that on them. Mm. Weird, I can't find it. They got the same order. Somebody just say ten dollars. Matter of fact, I've just got two of them for sale. Eric Law, how many you want? Mama, can we put one in here? Sure can. Let's put one in here because you ain't got to worry about nothing catching a fire, no candle or anything. For sure. I don't know, you put it wherever you want to put it. I'd love to see how they do. I've never... I've got two of them. I'm going to keep one of them. I like the smell of it. It'll make all your merchandise smell real good too. <laughs> Eric Law gets one. or he's got. He said $10. I don't know if he wants both of them or just one of them. But Eric Law at least got one, Mama. You got him down. Yeah, what are you doing, Donald? $10? $10. I got one left, guys. I took one of them because I, I, I like the smell. It's not an overpowering smell, and it's not like a real fruity smell. Uh, it's it's just something that would really fill a room up, and it wouldn't be too overpowering. I like it. Now, I kept one of them. When Uncle Jed likes it, because a lot of stuff I'm allergic to, and it makes my eyes water, it makes my nose burn, or stuff like that. This does it. I got one of them left. $10, guys. And then I got a brand new Kentucky Cutlery knife coming up, guys. To that stuff in my head. <laughs> and I've got two of them, and I'm letting these go at $20 a piece. No, let's let them go at $18 a piece. Let me see if I got two. I think I got two of them. And I don't even think you can buy them wholesale for that. I'm going to sell them a Kentucky Cutlery Nice Spring Assist Knife, 440 stainless steel blade, Mossy Oaks, Break Up Country, Camo Print, and Integrated Belt Clip, Coating Knife, Mossy Oak, uh, Break breakup country kentucky color company i'm going to sell these at 18 dollars a piece so that'll be coming up next anybody want the last one of them at ten dollars i'm not kidding you don't got to worry about a candle being lit no electricity or no electricity being plugged in you just put them reeds down in there you can 
could sleep well at night. And those reeds will make it your whole room smell good. I only got one of them left, and you, you're going to like the smell. I guarantee it. If you don't, I'll give you your money back. Because if I like it, anybody's going to like it. Because I'm sort of picky. Just a little. Yeah, I am when it comes. To I love Peppermint Twist from, uh, what is that, Bath? Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Her favorite store. All right, nobody's getting that. We'll take this down to the end of the... We've got I'll put it up later on when I put this other stuff on. All right, guys, $18 a piece. Tell me how many you want. $18 a piece. Worth that, worth every penny of it. Four forty stainless steel spring assist. Eric Law gets Eric Law. I don't understand if you want it. Uh, Bubba Corner is going to get. I don't know if Bubba's wanting one of the nice. I think he is, or he wanted the diffuser. And Eric Law, I don't know if you want it. I got two of them. So if you wanted one of them at eighteen dollars, you can get one too. I got two. I know Bubba's Corner is going to get one. Uh, Bubba gets one of the nice mama at $18. And I think Eric Law may have wanted one of them at $18. Or he may have took the other diffuser. I don't, Eric Law, you have to let me know. Or he may have changed his mind completely. So, as of right now, we still got one of these at $18. I'm going to go ahead and put this one over here. They're worth that, guys. Kentucky Cutlery. Really nice, nice. I got one left at eighteen dollars. Eighteen bucks, guys. I got one of them left. And we'll just let that set up there until we find our next item. I think it'll sell. I'll give y'all, I know I know you think about it a minute, I know it'll sell, guys. I know it will. Oh, I've got my paperweights coming up. I got an elephant, a swan, and a signed bird that looks like Fenton, but I don't think it is. But it is signed on the bottom. I think it's a Leonard or Leopard or something on the bottom. Right I there. think it's an artist's name. And on the dated. bottom but dated I got some design. nice looking paperweights coming up one of them looks like Fenton but don't think I don't know if it is or not but Fenton did they did sign the bottom of them <laughs> Bubba's Corner got one of the nice Where'd you go? Yep. 1991 yep. and I think it's L-E-O Leland or something like that Leland and Fenton would sign, their artists would sign their stuff, but that's 1991. That's pretty old. Anybody want the knife? $18. We'll just go ahead and sit it over here and maybe I'll put it up again here in a little bit. I still got other stuff, butcher knives, things like that. A lot of stuff coming up, guys. Uh, right now, I've got paperweights. And the first one is an elephant. It's not signed on the bottom. Beautiful blue color elephant and then I got a beautiful clear color swan you are registered chip chip did you say I said chip chip and then there's that bird and it is signed on the bottom 1991 and it's got the artist's name on it I don't know if you can see that it's etched on the bottom signed Beautiful pieces right here. Choice on them. And guys, this, we're only at $5. And we got George Clayton first. Let me grab my water here. I ain't had no bids from Facebook in a while here. I got six. Y'all gonna work me, ain't you? We should done be over the fifteen dollar mark on these. Got six with Melissa. Got six dollars. Nobody's bidding over on Facebook. Eight, They're not. Eight with I got eight dollars with George Clayton. 
And you do a choice on the paper Choice on the paperweights there. And I got ten with Melissa Williams. Anybody on Facebook, Kathy Gillock, I done got a ten dollar bid. I already had eight from George Clayton. I got Melissa Williams at ten. I already got Melissa Williams at ten. Kathy Gillock, you just bid ten. I need a twelve dollar and a half bid, honey. And you better beat George Clayton. Now I got twelve and a half. Now we're on Facebook. Now we're looking for fifteen. Now we got Facebook and YouTube going. Give yourself a big hand, guys. I'm gonna be looking for my next item. I'm gonna be bid, uh, putting up. So you guys keep bidding. Any of you sort of keep an eye on uh, Melissa Williams is out. So we got George Clayton, Cassie Gillock still in the battle. Uh, Melissa Williams, you will be the backup bidder us so right now. This piece right here may be a very valuable piece. These are worth the price of admission right now. The swan and the elephant. About where we're at now, maybe. George is out. George, you didn't have to shout it at me. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Uh, we're at 12.50. We're going to wait about 30 seconds. Give you guys, give George, I'm going to give you time to think about that. And Melissa too. Because that one that signed there, <laughs> that one that signed there, may be up, upwards around 30 to $50. These two, at least, you know, $15, $20. But I got Kathy in at 12 and a half, looking for 15. Kathy's telling me to sell it, and to shut up. And I'm saying I don't want to shut up. Trust me, you don't. I need the money. I need a new pair of shoes. No, even when he's not sleeping, he says, Mama, Mama, <laughs> help. I was, something was going on last night. I remember waking up hollering help. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. What is that? <laughs> you talking about me. Man. That goes into your car and it transmits uh, like Bluetooth stuff. So you could play your phone like through your, through your uh, system. Mom. We are at twelve dollars and a half. Choice on them, uh, hey. Bubba. We're at twelve and a half. I just now turned around and read that, Christine. Hope your church uh, prayer group went well. We are at twelve dollars and a half with Kathy Gillock. Oh, he said I'm on and drone all night. No, they're choice. Uh -huh. you, you're you're bidding on one of them, and then you get to pick which one you want. And that's all right to ask questions all the time because I've had people think they're bidding on the everything on the table and then they come back. And even if you was to have thought that, all you got to do is come back and say, Jerry, I thought it was for all of them. And I wouldn't hold you to it at all. I've had people do that. And Christine, you're new. And i got to tell you this. The bid increments are $2 and a half once we get past $10. So after 12 and a half, we got to have 15 which that ain't but a couple more bucks, Christine. But the bid increments are at least two and a half. That keeps the auction going. Okay? And we're different than a lot of the other auctions. We try to try to go faster, put more. We, we want to try to be more like it. There it is, $15. Now, 17 and a half. 15 now, 17 and a half. 15 now, 17. They got Facebook going over here, guys. But we try to be like the auction house that you go to, the old auction barns. Got 17 and a half. Now, $20 bill. Choice on them, guys. This one is actually signed on the bottom and got a date of 1991 on it. And I'm only at 17 and a half looking for a $20 bill, guys. Yes, uh, Come on, Maybell Simmons, Medea. Mama and Pops are all old and sold. <laughs> We try to keep it going. Uh, Christine's out. Christine, the good thing, the good news is, is this. Is that you'll be a backup bidder and you'll have the first opportunity. Say, uh, Kathy Gillock, we sold that for 17 and a half. Uh, we sold that 17 and a half. If Kathy Gillock don't pick the one you want, you're the first in line to be the backup bidder at 17 and a half. You're not obligated but you, the backup bidders, it pays to be the backup bidder sometimes because they don't pick out the one that you wanted. 
So, Kathy Gillock, take your time. Tell me which one you want, or if you want all three of them, or which one you want, the bird, the swan, or the elephant? The bird. Kathy's taking the bird. So, Christine, she did leave the elephant. That They're 17 and a half. Christine Lambert will be the next one in line, and then uh, Melissa Williams, and then George Clayton. The blue bird. Blue bird shining on me. So them two are still available. Them two are still available and I've got to find my next item while Miss Christine's making her mind up. Oh, you're putting that on Delta's bill? Because she's got the Uncle Jed bucks? No, Smart, she Kathy. Huh? She bought it she's Delta. buying it for Delta. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Chris, did Christine take the elephant at 17 and a half? Christine, let me know. You're the next in line. Uh, I think Christine wanted the elephant at 17 and a half. Make sure, let me make sure of that. Uh, and like I said, you're not obligated because you're the backup bidder. But, okay, Christine gets the elephant. That's a good choice right there. Hidden, Hidden, well, he loves, I got Hidden up there in Indianapolis. He loves elephants, uh, Christine. Anybody wants the swan? Brian LaPlu would take that, I'm sure. I ought to go ahead and put it on his bill. He would take that swan. He used to buy everything that was swans. Melissa William passes. George Clayton, what about the swan? The swan. George is passing on it, so nobody wants a swan. So here's what I'm going to do on the Here, swan. No, just, let me, just let me have a swan. You want the swan? I do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook somebody up with it that deserves it. All right, India takes a swan. Well, just grab it out of my hand. Oh, you handed it to me. Y'all seen that? <laughs> That's a goose. That's I ain't Ricky wasn't it. looking. I ain't getting any. <laughs> Ricky wasn't looking. No, I'm getting for her. She does birds all through her house on memory of mommy. Memory of Granny Ruby? Yeah, Granny Ruby loved them birds. All right, guys. You've been waiting for this time. I'm going to do... We got a $20 starting bid already from Kathy Scott. There's the first one that I put up. Let me move these off to the side for a minute. These are all far king. And I look, this is one of the ones I like the best. Uh, and they got this one. This one's actually federal. Not far king. It's got the big F with the shield in it. And I think that was called federal. But look at them colors on that. Let me put that to the side there. We're doing choice on these. And I got a $20 starting bid. Then I got this one is a this one is the Far King right here. Made in USA. And I love the colors on it, guys. The choice on we got a $20 starting bid from Kathy Scott from a while ago when my Facebook comments froze up on me. Look how beautiful. Let me back this up a little bit. Love that red color, guys. You, it's hard to find that. And then flyer colors. Love that. Love that other color. All three of these are really hard to find colors. We got a federal. This one, the red one is a federal with a shield in it. And uh, the one is a far king from Anchor and Hawk. And the other one's a far king before Anchor and Hawk, I think. Which I think Pyrex and they all combined and went together or something like that anyway. But Lisa Nix is in at 22 and a half, so Kathy Scott, you're out and eat $25. Look how beautiful them are. Got Lisa Nix in at 22 and a half. Love the colors on these guys. And I gave you the measurements earlier, but I'll do it again. Uh, 11 inches, 12 inches, and I've got the handles too. 10 inches. And this is a little deeper, this one here. Three inches, and them are two inches. Love the colors. Hey, Lisa Nix, how's it going, sweetheart? Tell your lovely daughter hi. And your grandbaby. 
son-in-law, husband, all the folks up there, tell them hello. All right, we're at 22 and a half, guys. Looking for a $25 bid. Love the color. You can look at the bottom of them if you want to. You need to look at the bottom. Uh, this one's got the federal shield on it. Turn that around. Turn that one around. Yeah. Huh? Turn it around again. Yeah. Oh. If you don't look at yeah. it, you don't Now know. look at it. It's crooked, ain't it? Oh, I see yeah. it. It is. I'm surprised That's that one got out of the factory. Oh, this is an error one, too, guys. Maybe they weren't looking at that side. This is an error one. Look. Yeah. Look, it's not, it wasn't painted on there straight, so that makes that an error one. Makes it worth more money. No. Uh, they just spotted that for me. No. See, look at this other side, how straight it is. Yeah. And then look at there, that was an error one that got straight. out. Just like error coins and stuff, makes them worth more money. Yep. One of a kind deal. All right, I'm only at 22 and a half. I'm looking for a $25 bid. At least so. Oh, and stuff. Well, yeah. tell them I said hey, just like Gomer Powell does. Guys, we're way off on either one of these pieces. But they're going to sell. I'm only at $22 and a half. Oh, I they are going to sell. I love the color on each one of them. Each one of them's got a different bright color to them, and I love them all. And I'm only at twenty-two dollars and a half. I'm surprised Dana Thomason ain't in here. Kathy Scott. Oh my goodness, Kathy must have quit watching or something because she was wanting one of them. But we're gonna give it about thirty, forty seconds, guys. Let y'all look at them. I got Darling Manning. The old Darling Manning woke up. $25. I know they're better than that, guys. We're, we need 27 and a half now. Come on, Facebook. Get in there, too. Y'all let Uncle Jed be finding the next items up where the price is right. I got stamps tonight. I got comic books. I got more uh, new stuff. More nice. Things like that. Butcher nice. Oh, my goodness. We got a bunch of nice stuff. 27 and a half. I got 27 and a half from Lisa Nix looking for a $30 bill, guys. $30 bill. Twenty-seven and a half to go thirty. Twenty-seven and a half to go thirty. Twenty-seven and a half to go thirty. I got twenty-seven and a half. My camera got crooked on me. Twenty-seven and a half to go thirty. Twenty-seven and a half to go thirty. You got thirty now. Thirty-two and a half. Choice on them. Thirty dollar bid. You got thirty dollar bid. You go thirty-two and a half. Thirty dollar bid. You go thirty-two and a half. Thirty dollar bid. You go thirty-two and a half. That's how I like to make it sound more like an auction house. I got thirty dollar bid. You go thirty-two and a half. Lisa nix it out. Come on, Lisa. Only two dollars and a half more. Yes, we do have some more pocket knives. We sure do. Ralph Smith. So just hang on there. Guys, remember I started a little after 5.30, so we won't be going as late tonight. I got 30 now, 32 and a half. Lisa, you will be my backup bidder right now. $30 bid, would you go 32 and a half? Going once, guys. Oh, my goodness. $30 bid, would you go 32 and a half? Going two times. I got a $30 bid, would you go 32 and a half? Third and final call. And we are going to drop the hammer. Boom. Darling Manning, which one do you want or do you want them all? And then Lisa Nix will be the back next backup bidder at 30. And then Kathy Scott will be my third backup bidder where she started at 20 earlier. And then it'll be wide open for anybody else. That's a heck of a deal on either one of those pieces. Probably half price. Well, Darlene, take your time, sweetheart. That's the one I tell everybody, take their time when you're making your choice. I don't try to rush you through it. The tallest one right there. India, Darlene Manning got the uh, flower one, the deeper flower one. Lisa Nix, you're the backup bidder. Got you taken care of. Got them two left, guys. And then Kathy Scott will be my next backup bidder. $30, guys. Lisa Nix has got a... And like I said, Lisa or Kathy, neither one's obligated. 
but it pays to be a backup bidder sometimes because they don't get the one you was wanting. That's the one Lisa Nix was wanting. Well, I got 10 more of them, Lisa. How many do you want? No, I'm kidding. I don't. I'm a joking. I don't. All right, Kathy Scott, do you want any one of them at $30? And if she don't answer or don't say no, anybody else can get them at $30, which would be a heck of a deal. We'll wait just a little bit. Waiting just a little bit, guys. All right, no answer. So here's what we're going to do. And the first one that I have the opportunity is Darling Manning, then Lisa Nix. I'm going to back the back it down to a bite now, not $30, not $25, but I'm backing it down to $20. And Darlene will have the first cho choice, then Lisa Nix. And then anybody that says, you can go and type it in now that I want to be the third one. I'm backing them down 20, won't go no lower, guys, because them are nice pieces. Bo Far King. Backing them down to $20. Darling Manning will have the first choice, then Lisa Nix, then Kathy Scott, and then anybody else can just say, and you can go ahead and type in I want it, so you'll be a backup bidder. That automatically place you in line. $20, guys, choice on them. Beautiful Far King pieces. Darling Manning would have the first choice, Lisa Nix, Kathy Scott, and then anybody can get them at 20. Alright, Lisa done said no. We'll see if Darlene's interested at 20, and they're worth that. And Kathy Scott, you can go ahead and answer me too. And if not, anybody can jump in there and get them at 20 each, which is a steal. Hey, Tim Anderson, how's it going? I got some socks for $5 next. Size 10 through 13 with shoe size 7 through 13. I've got two pair of them and there's three three pairs of socks. I'm doing them for five dollars. No, not that. Is it that's it? Yeah. Then I got some for 9 to 11, which is size 5 to 11. Darling Manning wants the blue and gold one. Guys, I've got the, the air one left for $20. It's open to anybody. Darling Manning gets this one, Ma. 20 bucks. Anybody on the air one? And then the guys I've got, and I ain't got many of these. $5 for three pair of socks. Uh, they're gray, black, and white. And these fit. I've got three pair, I mean, three three deals of these. Size 10 to 13 fit you. Size 7 to 13. Kathy wants this for $20. Kathy gets the red one for $20, Mom. Now, guys, I've got the socks. Uh, these with the blue label around them, I've got two sets of them. I've got three sets of these, white, gray, and black. They're all white, gray, and black. It says sports on them. Uh, really well-made socks. They're $5 each. Uh, one of them with the black label says uh, fits you size 7 to 13. This one fits you size 5 to 11. I've got two sets of them at $5 each. Three different colors. 
really thick socks and then I got these over here five dollars each passing them out guys got three pair of them and I got two pair of these five dollars a uh, pair I mean for a pair of three you're not gonna find that nowhere else guys not at Walmart Dollar Central or anywhere socks are high anymore when you go to buy them very high Ray Jenkins gets one of each. See you guys. Thank y'all. Ray Jenkins gets one of each, Mama. You need to look at them. I got you. Thank you. And Kathy gets one of the 13 size one. The bigger size, the black label. $5 each. Sandra Warden gets the last blue label. And I have one of these left at five dollars, guys. The black label. That's seven through thirteen. One of them left. One of them left at five dollars each. Sammy Stinson gets one of each. Sammy, you get one. Paul, I've got some more socks coming up, okay? They're not the same color, but they'll still be $5. What's, uh, what are Wait a minute, I've got more of these. Never mind. Sammy does get two pair. A blue and a black label. I had more over there. Okay, I've got Ray for one of each. Sammy gets one of each. Kathy gets the 13. Sammy gets a third. Okay, and a third let me see if I've got one for Twala. <clears throat> Twala, I got the size 9 through 11. You want that one? That's the last one I got left. And those are all the sports socks? Sports socks. Blue or black label. Blue or black, so that's the only difference. Blue or and black. I'll tell you how many I got total when I get done to make sure we got it right. The only difference, it's size different. Is the only difference in them. Black label's a little bigger and the blue label's a little. Twala takes this one, last blue label. And I'll tell you how many I sold of them. Seven pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's old seven, Mama. I have six. I have, oh, Missing Sandra. Sandra Warden, the blue label. Now we got seven. All right, guys, I've got the solid color white ones. These are the little bit longer up on your leg socks. Got the blue label, which is five to 11. I got three, <clears throat> three pair of them. You get three pair in them, they're real thick. Get them, get them while you can, guys. And then I got the uh, the crew socks. I got the size 13 ones, or uh, 7 through 13. I got two of the sets of them. Three in each one of them. Black label or blue label. That's all I got. No more socks. So take what you want them. These are the crew socks that go a little farther up on your, your leg. Uh, one fits 5 to 11, the blue label. One fits uh, 7 through 13, which I could wear either one of them. I call them working socks. <laughs> Melissa Williams wants a blue label. Sammy gets one of each. <clears throat> Kathy Gillock gets the size 13. Melissa Williams gets a blue label. And I only got a blue label left. I just sold four pair of them. Kathy Gillock gets a black label, solid white, not a sports socks. Sammy Gillock, Sammy Stinson gets a, a black and a blue label, solid white. So Kathy gets what color? Uh, size 13. What color? Uh, black label. Black. Solid white, not sports. And Twala will get the last one. We're sold out, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help India get it correct.
You got it, Twala. You got the last one. What color did Twala get? Twala got a blue label, solid, white. solid white. You sold four. Five. I have one, two, three, four. Melissa, Melissa Williams got a blue label. Melissa Williams is who I'm missing. Good deal. We're good. And then Sammy got one of each, and then Kathy got the one. They're, these are all solid white, black or blue label. That's all my socks I got, guys. Five dollars each. Guys, now I had this knife at eighteen dollars, and maybe you wasn't watching. Oh, got them for Diane. Good. She'll like them. They're good and thick. Got this knife for $18, guys. Kentucky Cutlery. Done sold one of them. Got one left. Going to try to move it. Guys, we're coming up on the three-hour mark, which we won't go as long tonight. Because we started at around 530. So I'm going to try to move uh, some more knives and some more other stuff I've got. I don't know if I'm up to my quota or where I'm at. But $18 on that, and that's a good price. I'll leave Atlanta for just for a minute. Somebody surely take that for $18. Kentucky Cutlery. Great foldable knife. Got the clip clip on it. Camouflage. Good knives right there. $18. Why well, it does smell good. Did somebody take that last diffuser? No, they should have took that. Oh, we're not doing good at all. Well, not bad, though. Considering we spent that. And I think we've got that back from them. Oh, I got my Thai beanie babies there. Did anybody take that knife yet? Alright guys, raise your cop picking sights. You talking about a meat lot meat knife. This is the cut ham. 14 inches, guys. Looky here, looky here. Only one I got. You talking about a meat knife. Let's go, cats. Play Vanderbilt tonight. You talking about a meat knife. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's do $15 on it and let's move on to the next item. Oh, Twala wants that diffuser. Twala, that's... India's got one over and I'm already smelling it in here. $8, Mom, the last diffuser. Don't got to worry about nothing catching on fire on them. Okay. $15 on that big meat cutting knife, guys. Look at there at the handle on that. You're talking about slicing through hams. <clears throat> Economic handle, a combination of sharp, sharp tone for comfort and poly, whatever that's talking about the handle. Easy edge maintenance and rapid sharpening. Uh, textured finger points provide slip resistance, grip, and safety. Limited lifetime warranty. You're talking about a Made by the Mercer Culinary. You talking about a meat slicer. Look at that. Hey, I like that ham on there. They're showing. Look at that, that baby. $15, guys. The only one I got. That's a nice meat slicer right there. Very nice. You if never I got a knife that's... If I went home, I would take it. Oh, yeah. They're great, Twala. You're going to like it. You'll want to get diffusers from here on out. And not burn those dangerous candles. But now when I have candles to sell, y'all buy them. <laughs> Just got to be real careful with candles, guys. Really do. No, I can't take $258. i will take $15 on it, guys.
Guys, I'll take $15 for the big meat slicing knife, or I'll take $15 for these three big butcher knives and paring knives, $15 for them, or $15 for the Cuisinart steak knife, set of six. I'll take $15 on either set of those new knives there, guys. The meat slicer, $15 on either set of them. Tim Anderson, and they're well worth that. $15 for either one of them. $15 for either one of those deals right there. Did you take care of the Barbies a while ago? No, I'm trying to keep up with all this, huh? I just didn't know if you wanted me to put them up or tell how many there was left or what. I'd put them up. I tell you what, I'll take $15 on either one of these. Eric Law wants the white handle ones. Good deal right there on that. $15. I got the two left, guys. White handles. Oh, wait a minute. Christine Lambert over on Facebook was a minute ago, Eric Law. Christine Lambert was first. I did not see that, but I Facebook has a stamp on it. She did her bid a minute ago, and I, I was over there messing around and didn't see it. But Facebook does have a stamp on it to where it was a minute ago. So I'm sorry, Eric Law. Please forgive me. But Christine Lambert took the six for the fifteen dollars. She she and I, I got to be fair about it. I just looked over and seen that. Uh, I was, Can we get another one? Huh? No, no, okay. no. This is the only one we had. I'm sorry, Eric Law. Christine Lambert got them. She she beat you to the punch. But we do have the other ones available that are just as good that you can grab a hold of. Boy, them are heavy, too. I'm sorry, Eric Law. These goes to Christine Lambert, Mom. I'm, I'm sorry. But Facebook does stamp it uh, how long ago they bid, and her bid had already been in for one minute. Sorry, Eric Law. Please forgive me, buddy. I know you're my buddy. I know you won't hold it against me. But I got these for $15, guys. Or if you take both of them, if you take both of them, I'll do $25 for both of them. And that's a deal. I'll do 20. First one says 25. I'll do 25 for both of them. And that's a heck of a deal. 15 each or 25 for both of these. Boy, that stuff does smell good. And the good thing about it is you can give or take, take away any of the diffuser rods to make it smell more or less. So you can add them if you want more smell and take them away if you want less. Thank you, Eric. I know you'd understand. But that's a good thing about Facebook. They have a stamp on it. I wish YouTube had a stamp on theirs too. 25 for both of them guys 25 dollars for both of these or 15 dollars for either one and that's a good meat slicer and them are three really good knives right here guys three piece chef set with sheaths they've got the they've got the sheaths with them it says must be inside there you can get both of these for 25 and that would be well worth that. I'll leave him up there just for a few minutes. I've got my next item ready to move. Guys, we're probably going to go for uh, probably another 20, 30 minutes and then we'll be done because we've been going since 530. That's why we started early tonight, so we go home early. What does everyone think about the earlier hours? Y'all like? Did y'all like the earlier hours? Going on at 5, 5.30, something like that. We had a big crowd. I think we had a total of close to 50 people watching at that time. 
Nobody's going to take these at 25. Eric Law takes both of them at 25. Good deal right there. He didn't get the white nice, but he got them two at 25, Mama. Now, while she's uh, taking a little bathroom break, I'll tell her, thank you, uh, Eric Law. Is that a brass face behind me? No, I haven't got any brass faces. I got a brass vase. Guys, these are five dollars each. Somebody messaged a while ago. I've got a few of the city ones and the hibbly ones left. Yes, that's a brass vase behind us. We'll put it up for you, Tim, here in just a minute. I'll take care of you, Twyla. But somebody had messaged me about the keychains, and I'll tell you how many I got left of the hibbly Barbie, and that's the city Barbie keychains. These are over 20, almost 30 years old. Sandra wants one of each. Sandra and Warden, they're $5 each. There's one, one of each for her. Got that put up over here. Sandra and I just found a, a I just found the brunettes. I only got and you said one of each, which I done got yours put up over the blondes. But I do have I, I just got these left. The brunette ones. I do have the brunette ones too. Here Billy and City. They're five dollars each. Oh, and also, did you get uh, Eric? The knives for Eric Twenty-five dollars. I do have the brunette ones too, so that would be four <laughs> different ones. Sandra gets uh, the two, the brunette ones, so she's got a total of four. Gotcha. And I will put them wherever I put the other ones. There they are. And guys, I'll tell you how many I got. Left. I ain't got that many left. I got. Three of the cities left, and five of the, uh, I got three, these are the blondes I got left, guys. Five dollars each. I got three of the, uh, city ones, and five of the blonde ones. Five dollars each. We were selling them for ten. We're selling out of them. Be done with them. I think they're almost 30 years old. Uh, the year on these were... <sighs> 1995. 29 years old, guys. Look at the shape they're in. And they're not small either. She stands probably about five inches tall, something like that. Anybody want them at five dollars each? I gotta put something up so they can bid on take a little time. Alright. Oh, I can do choice on these little three pieces I got here. And then I got a knife that's coming up here. Mm. And then I got some, oh, the matchbox cars. That'll take a little time. If nobody else wants any of them? Well, we'll try them another time. Appreciate you guys. And there's that brass vase that made in India. It's got the etching on it. Brass guys. Brass vase. What Tim Anderson on Facebook was asking about. How many Barbies have I got left? I got three three of the cities and five of the hillbillies, all blonde. Total of eight of them left. There's the brass vase, guys. It stands about 
I got a $3 starting bid, 11 inches tall. I got $3 over on Facebook from Tim Anderson. And then, I, um, what was I going to do? I've got a bunch of stuff I need to move. I got the Beanie Baby still to get up. I got that not one knife there. Uh, what else was it? That I, oh, the Matchbox is what I'm going to put up next so I can rest. Okay. I'll tell India. When she gets out of the bathroom. I'm only at three dollars on the vast brace. Oh, Ralph, do you care if I give uh, Sammy Stinson? I missed that up there. Sammy wanted one each. You care if I give uh, Sammy Stinson one each of them, buddy? Ralph Smith, I don't think he'll care, Sammy. I missed that. Sammy, I did. I, I, I was looking up at the vase and trying to. To do several things at once, and that's my bad. I don't think Ralph will care if you get one each of them that he got, but I gotta ask him because it wasn't his fault, it was my fault. Hold on just a minute, Mama. I, I made a mistake. I didn't see Sammy's wanting one each of the dolls, and I'm asking Ralph Smith. No, let me ask Ralph if, if it's okay if I get one each of them. He'll still have four hillbillies in two cities. Let me, and if, if not, Ralph, that's okay. Sammy said it was okay. And the base is still up for bid, so we got. I've got to get this straightened out. I must be getting a little tired, Sammy. But I'm, I'm doing my exercise every day, guys. Trying to walk 30 minutes a day. Ralph said, okay, good deal. Sammy Simpson gets one each of the Bonds. The City and the Hillbilly. Barbies. So two, okay. Barbie. And then uh, I'll give you the remaining of them. One of each blonde. Yep. Okay. And that's Sammy. All right. And then Ralph Smith gets uh, four Hillbilly Bonds. And two city blinds, total of six. Good deal. And while India's getting that all fixed up, Ralph gets six. Six total. Barbies. Yep. He got the rest of them. And so, Sammy had said he. The reason I had a mix up, Sammy um, had, huh? Ralph. Smith is getting six. Yeah, four blonde hillbillies and two city blondes. Four blonde hillbillies and two cities. Okay. Total of six. Four and guys, while they're, I'm gonna start putting these matchbox two, up here. The last two. ones I got, we sold them all before to the bidder. Uh, everybody, oh, these are some. These are nicer than them earlier ones. I'm going to set them up. Tim, you're probably going to get the vase, buddy, but I'm letting India get caught up over here. And we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to move these matches. Go matches. ahead and sell it. I'm good. Alright, Tim Anderson wins the vase. There's a station wagon. I like that one. One, two, three. Ooh, I like that one. Is that a, uh, uh, that's a 76 Volkswagen Golf. I like these. Retro series. Retro series. Some of them are retro series. All right, Tim Anderson wins the vase at three dollars. All right, guys, can y'all see the matchbox good enough? I think there's two, four, six, eight, ten of them. There's ten of them. There's some nice ones in here, guys. Somebody get me started off on the right track. Every one of these are different. I got two and a half bid. That's the one that won them all earlier. These are really nice. I like these. All of them are different. I'm two and a half looking for three, guys. 
And I get a rest on this one. Maybe I'll get some bidding going on and I'll get a rest. Oh, I gotta rest my back. Regardless of whether there's bidding going on or not, guys, I gotta rest my back. May mama have put mama put some of that uh, icy hot on my back tonight. But thank you, Tim Anderson, bidding on the brass face. I'm at two and a half on the matchbox. Choice on them. Ooh, I like that one. All is quiet. And I tell y'all what, if Eric gets them at two and a half, he's going to take them all. I guarantee that. Almost guarantee it. I got Ralph Smith in at three dollars. Now looking for four. I got Eric Law in at four. Now looking for five. Oh. Ralph Smith is out, and nobody else is bidding. Nobody on Facebook. Make sure I don't make no mistake. And uh, we have sold it. Four dollars, Eric Law. Take your time, Eric, or take them all, whichever you want to do. There's a total of ten of them, buddy. I do appreciate everybody too. Did, did nobody answered me on uh, how you uh, like the early hours. Y'all like the earlier hours, so we don't have to stay on so late. Did y'all like that? Starting at five or five thirty. I sort of like it because I'm fixing to get to go home here in a little bit. Plus, people before they go to church, uh, Darlene said yes, Ralph said yes. But Facebook's not froze up on the comments again, or is it? Nobody's mm, said anything over there for a while. Eric Law is going to, Eric Law looked at them, he looked them all over 10 times four, Mama. That's the way to do it. I'll put them right over with his other ones. He got the other ones at such a good price, he decided to go ahead and get all of these. And I'll be right back, guys. But tell me if you like those earlier hours. We may start doing our earlier hours. Unless I've got some kind of appointment or something like that. Which I'm sort of scattered right now. Meow. Did you say there was Sprite back there? All right, guys, before I go on and do that next uh, knife that I got, where everybody likes Beanie Babies, we're going to do choice on the Beanie Babies. There's the snowman Beanie Baby. If they don't set up, they won't set up. Now, they got names too, baby. Look, if you open them up, it shows you who they are. Snowball. Snowball. And, and this one's probably going to be Lucky. I'll let you. All right, I'll it's set Aaron. them up and it's you Aaron. tell me what they are. That's Aaron. And all these have got the tags that Puffer. she's handed me. I'll tell you if it's not got the tie tag on it. Puffer. Herschel. Herschel. That was the name of my grandpa. Oh, I like that one. He's got some cute hair. I like that one. Herschel. That was uh, George Herschel. was named my grandfather. Seaweed. Tim Anderson said seaweed. Pinky. Pinky. Y'all go ahead and start bidding on them. Freckles. Freckles. Oh, them are nice ones, guys. Twigs. 
Twig, y'all start bidding on them. I got a three dollar starting bid. Twig. Twigs. Nanook. Nanook. He's been playing in the mud. That dog has. Throw him. Put him to the side then. Uh. Patty. Patty, I like Patty. I'm at four dollars with Ralph Smith. I had three bids. I had. Um, I'm at five with Bubba Lambert. Stretch. Stretch. I like stretch. Well, them are them are different. Prance. And prance, and that's it. I like prance too. But there they are, guys. And I'm at five dollars with Bubba. I got six dollars with Ralph Smith. They all do have the tie tags on them. They are nice. I got a six dollar bid. Over on YouTube. Now I get to sit down and rest. Melissa Williams, thank you, honey. You will be one of the backup bidders, though. So got seven. I got seven over on Facebook. Now looking for an $8 bid. And I'm getting me some water. And I'm going to spin them a little bit as I go. And rest my back a little bit as I go. Ugh. I got a $10 bid over on YouTube. Ralph Smith and Beth. I think it's Beth saying she ain't playing no reindeer games. Bubba set out, and I didn't have no other bidders. Bubba, you will be the backup bidder. Sold to Ralph Smith. You have a mellow yellow, not a Sprite. Ooh, a mellow yellow would be good right now. I'll drink on that probably the rest of the night. Yeah, it's open. Be careful. Sold to Ralph Smith, $10. Bubba's oh. my backup bidder. And then Melissa uh, Williams will be oh. my third backup bidder. And take your time. This is one of them where I say take your time. Making your decisions and tell me when you're done. Oh, there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Total of twelve of them, Ralph Smith. Total of twelve of them. And they're all cute as they can be. Herschel is from Cracker Barrel. Did you know that? Herschel's from Cracker Barrel. Did you know that? He yeah, had them a are Cracker Barrel. Them are nice. Them are different. On. Them sure are different. They sure are. Oh. Well, maybe your cut. I hope your cut boards are full now, Sandy. <laughs> He's going to take the snowman. The walrus and the penguin. Who's, where's the walrus? The walrus is uh, seaweed, I think. He's the brown one. That one? Yep. And the penguin. No? The toucan. That's the toucan. Where's the penguin? Might be the toucan. Are you meaning the toucan one? Or the flamingo. No, not the flamingo. He's probably talking about this one. Yeah, the toucan. It looks like a, pe a penguin, but it's not a penguin. It's pretty, though. I think you're talking about that one. Three times for Mr. Ralph Smith. Bubba, you're the backup bidder. There's what we got left. And then Melissa Williams will be the next backup bidder. But there's what we got left. And you're not obligated as a backup bidder. The bid ended at ten dollars, so that's what they are. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And you can take your time also. Melissa Williams can take your time and be looking too. And the one keeps pink the flamingo keeps dragging her foot. Melissa Williams said 
Okay, got you, Melissa. Hold hold on, I gotta I gotta make sure that Bubba doesn't pick one of them Barbie Hall, okay, honey? My niece was wanting the pink flamingo and the giraffe, but I gotta have Bubba to say pass. Uh Bubba's getting the two bears, which is uh Herschel. The two bears and Aaron and the giraffe. Three times. And Bar Miss Bar Barbie, uh, we do have the pink flamingo left. If you want it, and we got the ostrich and all these others left here. If you just want the pink flamingo, that's okay. But you want to pick another one out, that's fine too. But we do have the pink flamingo for you. Did you want any of the other one, two, three, four, five of them? I got your pink flamingo. I like this one. It would go with your pink flamingo. Waiting on Barbie to make her mind up. Take your time, guys. I've got some. I'm going to do the, uh, the, uh, pinkies. What do you call them again? Boyd Bears. Boyd Bears next. And then I got a knife coming up, and Mama's got my drink, and I'm just going to set it over here. She wants this turkey or whatever it is, Mama. Sticks. Sticks. Ostrich. Two times. Ostrich. Ostrich. All right, guys. Anybody else can take the ones. Uh, he, uh, Ralph's gonna get a purple one, Mama. Whatever. Platypus. Gotcha. Uh, the platy platypus or whatever it is. So that's four total for Ralph. Now I've got these left, guys. Ten dollars each. Freckles and. Uh, the nook or whatever his name is and then uh the cat one anybody wants either one of them at ten dollars each here kitty 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 eric law wants the husky and the tiger which one's a tiger this one them two there for Eric Law. I better put them down here in the same place I'm putting the others. And I got freckles left, guys. Don't leave little freckles out. Somebody take freckles. He's left all alone. Ralph, Ralph said he'll take that one, the freckles. We couldn't leave old freckles out. I think it's a total of five for Ralph. Now the Boyd Bears, guys. And I'm going to have to show these, and I will tell you if they've got a tag or not. You know, like the cardboard tag. This feels like a Stoth Bear. It's got the movable legs. And the movable arms. And the movable head. That almost feels like a, sta a staff. Let me make a staff. But I'm sure it's a Boyd bear. Yeah, it's a Boyd collection. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. There's your first one right there. Boyd bear. It hadn't got the original cardboard tag. It hadn't got the original cardboard tag. This one has the original cardboard tag. 
Cardboard tag's a little bent. Got three. Got a three dollar starting bid. Y'all go ahead and bid on them, guys. I'm gonna lie, these won't stand up. This one's a movable one too. The head moves on this cat one here. It's not got the original cardboard tag either, but it's got movable legs and stuff like that. So y'all just have to remember which ones I've got up there because they're not going to set up. You got uh, 12 on Facebook and 35 on YouTube, Uncle Jed. All right. And this is the bunny rabbit. No original tag on it. Just in time for Easter. And then I've got another bearware cat. Boyd Bear. These have been in storage now, guys. That's not got the original cardboard tag on it either. I'm only at $3. Oh, I like this one. This has not got the original tag on it, but this one in big ones. That's the biggest Boyd you got. That's right? the biggest Boyd I got. Look at that, that one. I'm only at $3, guys. Keep it keep sitting on a shelf with his legs dangling down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or on a dresser. Oh, these are nice ones here. Here's another uh, Boyd Bear right here. I got four on Facebook. I got five over on YouTube. Got a few more guys. Oh, here's one that matches that big tall one. These are Boyd Bears. So a couple of them had the original cardboard on it. Like I said, these could all use. This one's got the original. No, don't got the original cardboard. But there's just a loose tag that was down in the box. So oh. this is another one of those Halloween like cats. Uh, so there's the ones I've got. I got six over on Facebook. I got ten with Sandy Boardman. I got twelve and a half with Bubba's Corner. And I can show them all again here in just a minute. But that was all of them, guys. Like twelve dollars and a half, Sandy Boardman's out. I need a fifteen dollar bid, and I get to sit down and rest. Boy, that diffuser smells so good. I ain't even inverted the tubes yet. Huh. You ain't even what? <clears throat> what You're are you supposed, supposed to, to let do? them soak for a little bit, and then after so many hours, you turn them over, and that way they keep on. You turn the stick over. You invert the stick, yes. Oh, <clears throat> invert, go ahead and invert it. I want to see. You're not supposed. You've got to wait a few hours, hon, because it. It soaks in and then oh, you flip I got you. it and then it finishes doing what it does. It's like yeah, there's a few it. of these that's got the original tag on it and like I said they've been in storage so you take a lint brush to some of those black ones, a lint roller, and they'll look as good as new. But I'm only at twelve and a half for a Boyd Bear, oh my goodness, and nobody else is bidding. Facebook is stopped. And we have sold them, $12 and a half. Take your time, Bubba's Corner. If you need to see them again, tell me. Or if you remember, that's fine. But I can show them again. So you guys, it's backup bidders be watching also. I think I can show them again. Well, I can move the camera, can't I? I don't have to move. Never mind. Getting all the Boyd Bears. Let me give them a count. All the bears now. The All cats. the bears, not not the cats, right. just the bears. Just the bears. Well, I gotta determine which ones. Is that a bear or a cat? That's, That's a, cat. a cat. It's got we okay. One bear, two bears, three bears, four bears, cat, cat, rabbit, cat. Cat. You got a total of four bears. Got four bears. So that'll be the only boy bears in here when you go to look for them. Alright guys, here's what we got left for the backup bidders. Which my first backup bidder will be Sandy Boardman. I got... <sighs> Sandy takes the bunny wrap. Sandy wants the bunny wrap. She was my backup bidder, one of them. And is that all you want, Sandy? And then your next is uh, Delta, I believe, huh? And these are what I got left. They're sort of uh, the cats, the black cats.
what have I got? A total of four left. Yeah, we're going to get that last, that other knife up before I get off the air. I got four of the cats left. Delta Simmons. I figured Sandy Warden might want one of the cats. But I got four of the cats left. Delta was my other backup bidder. Bat it forward. Thank you guys, uh, Sandy and Bubba's Corner. Oh, me. Oh. You call and checked on the girls lately? Mm -mm. I don't know if Jacob's still there or not. Oh, she wanted the rabbit. Uh, my other backup bidder was... That was it. Anybody want any of the cats? The cats. $12 and a half. If not, here's what we're going to do, guys. Here's what we're going to we do. We got one, two, three of the Boyd cats. The Boyd Bear cats. We got four of the Boyd Bear cats. Oh, I got to get my camera turned back around. I got to show them again now. We got four. They need a lint roller to them. Four of the Boyd Bear cats. Let me straighten up the camera. Four of the board bear cats. You can put a different sweater on them, I think. If you want to. Four of these board bear cats left. Let's sell them all for one money. You guys get in there and bid. Let Uncle Jed rest again. Four of the board bear cats. You get in there and bid on them, guys. All four of them? All four of them. Okay. All four of them for one money. So I gotta get I got another knife to get up and I got uh, some other items I wanted to get up. <clears throat> Nobody may not want the cats. May put them up for another time. Uh, and guys, we'll have our drawing here in just a little bit. We're going to quit about 10 minutes, so we'll have time for our drawing. And then we can get out of here at 9 o'clock. I want to be walking out the door at 9. Have you seen this? What? Look, feel that. This came out of the building. This came out of one of the units, and I've held it That is an old piece there. Yeah. That's nice. He's an Easter bunny, jester. We, we may thing. put it up. Let's go ahead and put these up. You want to put him up? Anybody want to give $20 for all four of these? Anybody want to give $20 for all four of these? Anybody want to give $4 for all four of them? Yay or nay? Ten seconds. And then I'm putting them back in the basket over here. Anybody want to give $20 for four of the Boyd cats? And I still have that one knife I got to get up. And I'm going to be at, try to be out of here by 9 o'clock. Wait a minute, Mom, I may need that basket. Nobody's saying $20, so put them down in there. All righty. Now, I've got India found... You want the bunny? Yeah, let me get a drink of my Mellow Yellow. Raise your cotton picking sights. This came out of the Atlanta, Georgia unit. I'm going to turn the camera around let Mama show it. You'll have to, I'll have to turn the camera around. you have to stand him up. The hands are made out of some kind the of face material. Too. Look at the face. This is a high-priced item. The head is, too. The head's made out of some kind of porcelain material. Uh, it's it's a rabbit. And he's uh, stuffed. He's a stuffed jester bunny. It's a stuffed jester bunny. 
And it came out of the Atlanta, Georgia. It was a high-priced... Uh, I think it was handmade. It was a high, in the high-priced Atlanta, Georgia it's unit. it got his little tail. It's well, well made. It's not nothing you get at Walmart or He's anything been like that. It's the house. It may be worth $100, $200. may just be worth 10 or 20 But I know it's worth more than that. He's been hanging out in her building. India found it up there. We know that it did Whoa. come. Whoa! What the heck? Scared the fire out of me. What? How'd that fall? Oh. Was that a ghost? <clears throat> yeah, Kathy Scott, uh, we we had you in at 20. They sold for 30. And then we backed them back down, and you were the backup bidder, and I couldn't get you to say anything, honey. I'll have some more later. All right, nobody's wanting the rabbit, Mama. I'll tell y'all what I do on that rabbit. Late. I take $50 for it. I take $50 on that rabbit there. I think it's a couple hundred dollar piece. Maybe more. I would do $50 on it. If not, just go ahead and put it up, Mama. If they want it, they'll tell me. I would do $50 on that rabbit. I'm saying it's a couple hundred dollar piece. Now I've got these little glassware items. I got to sell, Mama. I'm gonna do the lens and see if there's any more like it out there. I haven't even looked yet. Yeah, I was uh, told India put over there it fell. All right, guys, take a raise your cotton picking site. Now this is choice, guys. Uh, call them two pick holders or whatever you want to call them. That's what I'd call this one. It's that same color, George Clayton, that you bought earlier. Beautiful color. I got the top hat here. Beautiful little bitty top hat. Then I got that beautiful little bitty uh, bowl-like item there. A little salt thing, probably. Alice in Wonderland. I'd say this is a two-pick holder, and this is a two-pick holder. And that's probably a salter where they would put salt in, I think. I think I how much? Two twenty six. I was right, wasn't I? What's it called? Um, it's a Catherine's collection. Wayne Kleski bunny. Wayne Kleski bunny. Um, some people are calling it an Alice in Wonderland. Al rabbit Joker Jester. Rabbit Alice in Wonderland. How much are they, Mama? Was I right? Porcelain doll. Two hundred and twenty some dollars. Worth point wants you to log in for the cost of it. Uh. Y'all keep bidding. I see your bids. Choice on them items there. Beautiful pieces here. Let me get a little closer and lower the camera down. Uh, I was right on that rabbit, so $50 would have been cheap. India sort of looked at me when I said 50 But I, I know it's about a $200 item because I know what them items was worth in Georgia. So They're asking $226 for the bunny. They're asking $226 for that rabbit that we just had up there that I offer for about now $50, guys. It's, uh, she, y'all heard what her, y'all heard India saying the maker and all that stuff. Catherine's collection, it's a Wayne Kleski fairy bunny. Fairy bunny. <clears throat> asking $220 for it, guys. I'll put a buy it now $50 well, on it. Jester, yeah, Jester, Jester bunny. Jester bunny, that's what we said. Yeah. And I'll still take that $50. That's a $200 doll. I oh, told you, I was right. I, I, I've been around this stuff I long enough. Was, yeah. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm off sometimes on my price, but I'm pretty close. I've just been around this stuff so long. I knew it was over a $200 bunny, and that's why I said $50, and everybody was on there saying, oh my gosh, he's wanting $50 for that thing. And it's over a $200. It's a, one, it's, a, it's a piece that you would hand down. It's an heirloom piece. So $50 by now still stands good if anybody wants it. Wayne Kleski, K-L-E-S-K-I, Catherine's Collection. Porcelain. He's yep, porcelain. Yeah, I told you. That's what I said. I think I had more than one of them, too. He's 26 inches long. 26 tall. inches long, and the $50, $50 is still good. <clears throat> if you want to give me a C-note, I'll take a C-note for it, if you feel sorry for me. I'm at $8 on the choice on the things, and I'm going to wait just a few more seconds. Oh, Somebody can keep me updated on the score, too, because I'm fixing to be out of here. I've got a knife to sell. I promised Ralph that I'd sell another knife. Who's playing? 
Uh, Vanderbilt and Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky's playing. Been playing now for about 50 minutes. Should be about halftime. I'm surprised nobody's gave me an update. Because I haven't got the SEC network anymore. I've done away with a lot of that. I just couldn't afford it no more. The the YouTube TV and all that. I have Prime Video and Netflix is the only two I've got right now. I sort of miss Paramount Plus. Good night. <laughs> Bandy's beating them. At at Rupp Arena, 31, 34 to 31. Oh my goodness. Oh, no wonder nobody's been telling me the score. And we sold George $8, buddy. That's all right. It's only a game. It's only, I'd rather them get beat now than get beat in the, the main NCAA tournament. They should be stomping Vandy. They stomped them at Vandy, if I remember correctly. Oh, George, the uh, swans you got, those were Westmoreland glass. Westmoreland glass is what the swans you got, George. Tall one and the hat. This one here, the, the what do you call that color, and the hat. And uh, Dana Thompson, backup bidder, I've got that one left. Anybody want the $200 rabbit for $50? I've got that one left, Dana. I got this one left. Yeah, they do. It seems like they dig themselves a hole. All right, uh, just give that one to George, Mama. He bought the other two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that in. You want to just put it in the note? I gave him that little one. George, I just threw that other little one in. You bought them too, since Dana didn't want it. <coughs> I just threw it in for you. Okay. Mm. I guess he'll be part of our Easter decoration at home. For a I guess. Oh, I got to do that knife. Do the knife, dear. Do the knife. I got to do the knife. And then we're about done because I want to be out of here. Uh, anybody on the rabbit? That fifty dollars will stand good if y'all want to look it up. This is a three blade, and it has been sharpened. And it is a Boker Solingen Germany. It's a Boker Germany knife. And the blades have been sharpened pretty good. But it is, a, and the, the handle and everything's in great shape. But another nice older knife, guys. Boker Germany. And I had a $5 start bid over on. Uh. Facebook, I got 12 and a half from George Clayton, 15 from Ralph Smith. The handle's in great shape. It has been sharpened, 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 guys. There you go. You got to see the shape of the blades we're in, the good shape the handle's in, and that's just an older knife, used knife. I'm at twenty dollars with Sammy Stinson. Y'all be it all day. Now they're coming around playing a little ball. Ralph Smith's out. Thanks for bidding, Ralph. Oh, I want to get out of here, so I need to let this be my last. Item, no, what was it? I had one other thing that I promised. I don't know if I promised somebody or I just was going to do. Oh, I was going to offer up this stuff again. Uh, the new stuff that we have that didn't sell. Oh. 
Ralph Smith's out. Sammy Stinson's in at 20. And I'm going to close those blades down so I don't get cut. And we're going to let this knife go, whatever it goes for. Because, like I said, the blades have been well, well sharpened. I'm only at $20, looking for $22.5. And, and I think I just, I, I want to get out of here. And I may not get out of here exactly at 9, but I am going to get out of here. And I was going to put up choice on the comic books. But I think I'm about done for tonight, guys. Oh, I was just going to offer up some of that makeup and stuff. And we're all done on that knife. Uh, Sammy Stinson. Thanks for bidding George Clayton. Thanks for bidding uh, Ralph Smith. Sammy Stinson gets that one. 20 bucks more. Alright all right, guys. This is it. This is some of the stuff that didn't sell tonight. That I want to try to move. First of all, the knife for $18, and I'd love to move that tonight. That's a Kentucky Cutlery Company knife, brand new in the package, guys. Kentucky, Kentucky Cutlery Company, a cut above the rest, $18, sold one of them already. I'd love to sell that last one. And ladies, we have two of these left. Eight dollars each. I love to sell out of them. They're the uh, A color. George Clayton gets that last knife, Mama. You see what I got here? The Mossy Kentucky Cutlery. Yeah, somebody else got one of them, and then George gets one of them. All right. Thank you, dear. Eighteen dollars. Thank you, George. Now I've got two of these left. Eight dollars each, guys. A color combo, conceal and contour. Eight dollars each. If you haven't bought an item tonight, now's the time to buy. I've just got two of them left. I'd love to sell out of them. I would, I would. And then I've got four of these. Eight dollars. The eyeshadow stuff. I'd love to sell out of them. Eight dollars each. I've got four of them. And that's the last items for the night. I'll be getting my phone. Eight dollars each. I'd love to sell out. That'd be uh, six more items. I'd love to sell tonight. I'll sit down just for a few minutes. Drink. Take me another drink of my mellow yellow. Use the bathroom real quick. And anybody can take these for $8 each. I've got two of these left, four of these left. I'd love to sell out. Sammy Stinson wants an eyeshadow one, Mom, one of these. Okay. $8. Got three of them left now, guys. While I use the bathroom, y'all go ahead and take it over. And uh, then we'll have our drawing. Good luck to everybody. Eric, one of each. Eric Law. One of each. Alright guys, we're going to sell out, I think. I got one of the contour left. And... Thank you, Sandy Borman. I think I understood what you said. 
I got two left, guys. Love to sell out of them, $8 each. Got two of the eyeshadows, one of the concealer. Brand new. And that'll be the last three items of the night. Sammy Stinson gets the truly nude one. One of them too, Mama. Alright, all I got left is the eyeshadow, guys. And then we'll be done for the night. If you take them, you take them. If you don't take them, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and grab my phone. Hand me my phone, Mama. In front of you. Still got 24. Oh, the UK hat. Oh, I know what you're saying. I gotta find out who those three signatures are. And... Uh, Well, there ain't much of a delay there. God, I still got about 40 people watching on Facebook and YouTube. That's good. Gosh, I didn't mean to say God. No, I really didn't. Anyway, I'm getting my number calculator. I got to get out of here for tonight, guys. <laughs> Nobody wanted them, so done pretty good. Hey, Robert Warden. We're just getting done for the night. We started at 530. And we got number, what did we start with tonight, Mama? We end it with 63, so 6, and no. Going to 65. 65, because the, the, <clears throat> the winner last night was 64. And what are we going to was the last item sold. You sold over 100 items tonight. You're going to 172. 172. Sold over 100 oh, yeah. items tonight. All right, we're going to turn the volume up, generate a number. Good luck, everybody. If you're not here in 30 seconds, we do this again. All right. 77. 77. That wasn't too far into the night. I like that number. God's number. We talked about that tonight. Double God's number. And then we're going to say a prayer, guys, and we're going to get out of here pretty quick. That bed's looking awful good to me tonight. We may have to generate another number. Mama's fixing to tell me what it was and who it was, and you'll have 30 seconds to say here or not. I that believe we talked about this. I said he's got 10 numbers to win that wheel. Eric Law bought the first Matchbox car. Eric Law. Eric Law, you've got 30 seconds to say you're here. He said, I'll take them all, Uncle Jed. And I'm not pulling this thing over here. Y'all just going to have to trust me tonight. You want me to drag it over there? Uh, you can if you want to. Yeah, let me drag it over there for you. <sighs> But Eric Law's got to say here first. He bought a bunch of items, and they was all separate items. Lord, he bought he bought there just them cars twenty items. That was twenty numbers. Oh, here, let me let you back through. No, I'll go around. You're good. Sit down. Oh, my back. I will go around. Eric Law, come on, buddy. I know you're still watching. Don't make me have to do another number. Oh my goodness. Eric Law's here. Yay. You you bought a lot of stuff tonight, buddy. So good luck. And we will go ahead and get this number generator down and uh, out of here. Uh, so Eric Law, what we're going to do, we're going to spin the wheel. 
and uh, you'll either take my offer or the wheel. So good luck, buddy. I'm gonna do a good big strong spin. Hands are right here. All right, Eric Law. The will has spoken, <laughs> my good friend. And here's still my hands. So, but you know I wouldn't try to mess you. Wouldn't try to cheat you. I was aggravating Delta last night. Eric Law, I'm going to offer you ten dollars. You can take my offer of ten dollars, or you can take the wheel. And on the wheel, there's from five dollars to fifty, and all numbers in between. But I'm offering you ten dollars. You can take my offer or the wheel. That's ten dollars right in the hand. And everybody's saying, take the wheel, take the wheel. They're trying to give you some advice. But Eric Law, it ultimately is up to you whether you believe Uncle Jed or you want to go with the wheel. <coughs> Sandy Boardman said the offer. George Clayton uh, said the wheel. Oh. Tim Anderson said the wheel. Bubba and Tiffany said the wheel. Father Martin said the wheel. And Eric Law's uh, going to make his mind up whether he's going to take that $10, guarantee $10, or what the wheel said. Could lose money, could gain money. Who knows? Look at my poker face. And Eric Law has chosen the wheel. Who got that poker knife? Sandy? Uh, who? Twenty dollars, Sammy Stenson. That's what I thought. Good, Sammy Stenson. You did get the bunker knife at twenty dollars. Yeah. All right, Eric Law. We're gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna keep my hands right here so you can see the wheel. And the wheel, you done good by not taking my offer. The wheel landed on fifteen dollars. So that's fifteen dollars in Uncle Jed bucks that you win. Fifteen dollars in Uncle Jed bucks. Congratulations to you, my friend. Congratulations to you on $15 winner. That'll be off your bill, so that'll help you out, make your items a little bit cheaper. Uh, you paid a, on the uh, Hot Wheels, that'll take $15 off them. That'll help you out. Congratulations to you on that. You alright? Yeah. Alright guys. It's time to go to the Lord in prayer and then we're going to get out of here. We'll get home at least by 9.30. I thought we'd get out of here earlier. I've been up standing up on my legs a while. We're going to go to God in prayer guys. The one that created the heaven. The one that created the universe. The one that created our bodies. The one we should look to daily for guidance, nightly for guidance, before we go to bed, for when we wake up in the morning, and be ever so thankful to him, and give him all the praise, glory, and honor, for he's worthy of all of it. We're going to go to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we're asking that your Holy Spirit would just move upon everybody that's watching tonight, and everybody that's watched tonight. God, heal, uh, comfort, uh, give uh, courage, give strength to all these folks out here. God, I pray you right now, be with them as they sleep tonight. For some of those that have to work tonight, like Robert Warden, be with him as he has to work. Keep him safe. We pray, pray a hedge of protection around all of them and around all their families. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we apply the blood of Jesus Christ. Well, we don't apply the blood. We ask that the blood of Jesus Christ be applied to all their lives and that they ask you for forgiveness of sins if they've sinned. If they're not saved, God, this is one thing I pray that right now as I'm praying to you, 
that they'll fall under conviction in their heart. They'll drop to their knees or they'll look to the sky and they'll ask you to forgive them and ask Jesus Christ to come into their life and confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and believe that he died on the cross and rose again on the third day and that he's coming back someday and invite Jesus Christ in their life and that they'd be saved and have salvation. That's what I pray for the ones that's watching now live or the ones that's watching with this uh, maybe recorded years down the road or something, God. Praying for them. Praying for all the sick. All the shut-in. Praying for our nation. Praying for our cities all across the land. The cities that we live in. We love you, God. We're thankful that you gave us another opportunity to be with our friends. To be with our family, Lord. We're ever so thankful you, to you. We give you all the praise, the credit, and the glory for just being you, God. We love you. We sure do. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen, and Uncle Jed said amen. Guys, I'm tired. We're going to get get on out of here. Be posting on Facebook when we'll be here for pickups. We'll be posting on Facebook when we're going to be here for pickup. We'll be sending invoices out. Uh, getting all that done. Tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tim Anderson. Thank you, Sandy Boardman. Good night, Gus. Good night, uh, everybody. We appreciate you. Uh, We're gonna go home, and uh, I'm gonna take. Hey, we need to. I want to take my pork skins and that cheddar cheese from the fridge. I may have me a piece of that cheese tonight. Leave it back there, we'll forget about it and just be wasted. Oh. I got a dollar store sack there. I can put that in and take my marshmallows. I didn't go get Ireland's potatoes. Oh, my. Well, we can still go get them. Food line's still open. Uh, Dana and them asked, could you send an invoice through PayPal for them, Mama, so they can pay? All right. What? Can you send their uh, invoice to PayPal through them so they Is can that? pay? Dana Thomas. Yes, yes. I don't know if they've got other invoices. I, guess you like I think they've got other invoices they're talking about too. Uh, uh, we sure can, Dana. Good night, Phil. Uh, Christine, Bella, Tiffany, Tim, Diva, Gus, Sandy, Eric. George, uh, Sammy, all you good guys, Robert, Sandra, good night, Dana, Will. Uh, I hope I'm not leaving nobody out. But good night to you guys. Thank a lot of y'all. Uh, sure do. Appreciate y'all uh, so, so much. Uh, you'll be, most everybody be getting their invoices to the Squire. Uh, we have a few people left that we do uh, PayPal with. And, uh, so, hey, Jeff Reynolds, old buddy. Good good to see you. I know you said you watched in sometimes. Uh, good seeing you, my old friend. Appreciate you. Uh, come up and holler at us sometime. Me and you will sit and chew the fat. Talk a little bit. Good night, Sandra Warden. Back at you. Uh, so, uh, I'm so tired I can't get up. Eric Hall, good night to you, buddy. I'm so tired I can't even get up, guys. I'm not kidding. I'm stuck here in this chair and I gotta get up. I gotta get my jacket on. I don't even know where it went to. I thought it was on the back of my chair, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down. Okay. I, hey, and I appreciate y'all. Ralph Smith, Beth Smith, buying all my DVDs last night. That way, uh, love y'all too. I love all of y'all. Appreciate all you guys. Sure do. And good luck to Kentucky tonight. Hope they pull off a victory.